Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing and possibly finishing Digimon Sur... <laughs> I almost said Digimon Survived. No, that's not it. This is Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Brain was like, there is kind of a sound, which means that it has to be survived. I don't know why my brain does that. But yes, we are going to be continuing and possibly finishing Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Now, uh, just to show you things, you can probably tell by the levels, I, uh, did a ton of grinding. Because, uh, you know, five to six hours of grinding. Because what I wanted to do, well, since we're gonna be entering the last two chapters of the game, I decided that I wanted to at least, like, digivolve as many of our dudes as we possibly can. But let's... I just realized maybe we won't have, like, the memory for it. So maybe some of our Digimon might be going into the shelf. If all of them, like, actually, like, super duper go up. Which it does seem like they will, so... Huh. Well, luckily we are saved, so if we don't like a Digivolution, we'll be able to... Go back and be like, oh, we'll survive with just them. I want at least six Digimon to go into the final chapters. Darn you, party memory, I thought that you wouldn't be a big issue. But some of the Digimon that you m are new, because I needed them for DNA Digivolution, is this guy, Oriumon. He looks pretty neat. We need him for Digivolution with Alphamon, for some reason. Also, that's a minor hilarity. We're gonna have Alpha Mo uh, Alphamon only for a little bit before we have to get rid of them. Well, Digivolve them. We also have a Lady, a lady Devamon. Also needed to be grinded up with with the 100% CAM so that Anjuamon can Digivolve. But first things, like, again, some of them will... I don't know. Like, maybe we'll uh, put away Marine Anjumon, even though Marine Anjumon's little thing of, uh, yeah, healing HP and returning max SP every turn is pretty nice. But it only works when he's out on the field, so... <laughs> but with that all set up, I did grinding so that Digimon can be Digimon ready. Let's go. And then we'll do a little bit of grinding to, like, level them up. First one that we'll probably digivolve and then shelve will be Piledramon. We didn't really use him. He was basically just a meat shield. Let's see what he digivolves to. He was my first DNA digivolution, I think. Oh! I had this Digimon as a toy. Imperial Dramon DM. He's still a free type. Ah, kind of neat. But we shall now move Imperial Dramon. Uh, probably to Island 4. For now. As we just make way for the other Digimon to be Digivolved. Then let's see what Rosemon becomes. Although we've had Rosemon for a little bit, not as much as the others. But more than others. Oh, just a kind of a palette swap. Rosemon BM to become Mega. Ah, neat. Doesn't really change much. We also have a Black War Greymon. And that's one thing that I'm kind of sad. I would have liked to have, like, a Black War Greymon in the party for longer. But again, we're going to be nearing the end of things. Then I guess we'll digivolve you, Alphamon, because we're definitely going to keep Alphamon's... Well, it depends. We might keep Alphamon. I guess I'll save here because Imperial Dramon and Rosemon BM can definitely stay. They are very good. And now let's see what Alphamon digivolves into. 
They still need an Oriomon. Is that a reference to something in an anime or something? I don't know. I am unaware. That is something that I do not know about. But let's see. And once again, I will have to say, I kind of dislike DNA Digivolution in this game because, as far as I'm aware, that Oriomon that I had to grind for decently is gonna be gone. You can't get him back. Oh, Nokia, she can have her Agumon and Gabumon ev any day of the week when Omnimon decides to de-digivolve. Oh, but me, I lose my Digimon. Which kind of is odd when the game is like, ah, the Digimon are people, and then you literally use them as tools and grind them up for experience in this, in this lab. I don't really get it, but let's see what this... <laughs> then again, it does say consume. So... Well, let's see. Oh, it's Alpha Mon, but more. Alpha Mon Uryukin. Pretty impressive. Ultra level. Neat. Learned skills have exceeded the maximum. Oh. Oh, I, I, this is a, this is new. This is new. <laughs> I, I have to delete six. Well, we'll get rid of, like, level ones. Because we don't need level ones all that much. And then that seems to be the last of them. Oh, nope, there's a wind claw. Even though that seems to be the only wind claw, but then... I don't think that doing 65 damage would really be that that good. Uh, da 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 Power energy, magic attack. You know, I keep forgetting that there's a difference between physical and magical. Venom trap, attack break. Uh, I don't think reducing would is that good of a thing. I think raising... It might be good because that raises for all of my team. So that kind of comes out to... Well, no, that, that'd be that'd be wonky math. But, yeah, it would... It, it just is a little bit better because that means I get three turns with 10% increase to each individual Digimon on the field that gets their turn. As opposed to 10% to the boss that is still going to be a big old boss. So, speed break, even though speed might be handy. Bah, bah, bah. Heavy strike. Discard those skills. That is new. But you are, uh, quite neat. You're, you're Alpha Mon, but more. I like that. I like that. Of course, uh, Marine Angemon does not digivolve. He is forever mega. Cannot go ultra. Uh, then I guess we will save, because we're definitely keeping Alpha Mon as... They are. They became a cool Digimon. Then we have Anjuwamon, who has three Digivolutions, and then the more than likely uh, DNA Digivolution that we'll go to, and the one that we can't get because we are like... Three. We are three points away from that final one. Oh well. Wait, we already saw that one. That's the dragon. Uh, then we'll see what this one is, then probably go with the DNA Digivolution. Anjuamon, transform into not dragon, but other one. Well, we've already seen you. Yeah, we already Digivolved you before, but then... Didn't go into you. I forget what we Digivolved to get you, and then I was like, Oh, that's neat, but I'll go with this other one. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was Lilymon. Lilymon, and they were, I was like, hmm, <laughs> all of them are women. And then that, again, that one's just the dragon, so let's go DNA Digivolution. Of which we lose the Lady Devimon now and forever. I think the reason that it might consume Digimon like... That is neat. Boob armor, but cool. Very cool. Mm, nice. All right. Of course, Gallant, uh, Gallant, you'll guess Gallant. Yeah, Chaos Gallantmon is still the same. And now, 
We have Metal Garurumon, who will now consume a Black War Greymon. Let us see what we get from this. I think it'll be a Black Omnimon, or Omnimon Zwart or something. Still awesome looking. It is Omni Omnimon Zwart. It is still awesome. Still awesome looking. Oh, and now you have seven beyond. Comet Hammer Grand, because they are level ones and we're not going to use those ever. Because they just do so little damage. Destruction Cannon, Woken Napalm, Meteor Fall, 30 damage to all foes. How handy that will be. Sure, get rid of them. I find it funny that I randomly remembered, oh yeah, Zwart was a thing. But now that we're down to what we are, that is kind of weird that it didn't think to subtract the Digimon that, uh... Because, like, it's like, oh, these Digimon are uh, going to rise your overall usage, but then it forgot to take away the Digimon that were going to be de- Well, maybe it did. I don't know. I don't think it did. But, yeah, I think we have our endgame team. Uh, we just have to go do some grinding. So I shall uh, show you to my grinding pit after I put my... Yep, my main Digimon are in front. I don't have, like, adequate super-duper grinding gear. Like, I sp when I was grinding up the CAM and the overall leveling for, like, uh, to get the Lady Devimon, the War Greymon, Black War Greymon, and the like... I just came here and uh, annihilated these dudes over and over again. Because they level them up decently. Again, took a few hours to get the CAM correctly. <laughs> See why I love this? All of them go up to level 9. Uh, we won't do... Uh, Alright, we will answer the Digiline. What is it, random Digimon? Oh no. HP capsule. I was trying to create a experience diddly D because the thing is, oh, oh yeah, and also uh, I had allies to help with my grinding, which I think is a hilarious timing thing. Both Alphamon Kyoko and uh, Yuko? Yuko. No, Kyoko and the. Y Forget her name. No, it is Yuko. <laughs> I forgot that we were using you. Ah, uh, do demonic disaster, why not? I shoot dark energy at you. But yeah, uh... Brain, 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 what was I say? Ultimate Oryukin. Oh, I need to actually equip more things for you. Blech. I'll have to do that with all of the DNA evolutions, I think. <laughs> That's awesome. That's an awesome wind scream. But, yeah, while I was doing the diddly D grinding for a CAM and everything, Digimon folk dancing seems to be taking off. Some compete their own way, huh? Is it really folk dancing if they are creating it? But, yeah, I just do not have the, like, setup that... Like, uh, da, 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 da. would be nice to have. Because apparently, for true grinding, you need, like, platinum Sukumons and, like, experience getting. something or other. Experience getting. ba, ba, ba. Uh, the. USBs, the things that you can put in the equipment slot that increase, like, oh, the money you get, the scanning that you do, and stuff like that. Hmm. I guess I'll put Nano Machine Break in there. I guess I just got rid of, like, things that you had there. Oh, I guess we can give you equipment. We have decent equipment to just throw at you. See, I could give you an Oracle Disc, which raises SP and uh, health, SP and attack. Eh, speed is always nice. 
Also, I got a shit ton of Oracle Discs, because these enemies drop it. And I find that hilarious. Since we're not really going to be making Digimon anymore, I'll take that back, and I'll give you... Uh, SP... I guess health and SP. You can say the same, you can say... Hmm... I guess I'll take that away, because it's only five. And I'll give you a fighter disc. You can keep the sage disc. I'll give you a disc. No, oh, no, that's that's pretty good. Let's see. Fifteen, ten, I'll take the f that away. Do you have an intelligence one? No, we don't seem to have an intelligence one. But yeah, these USBs. There's like, ooh, increases combo rate, always escape, stuff like that. There's one that gives you experience multipliers. But they are exceedingly, exceedingly rare. Oh no. And hard to get. Ah, uh, yeah, you can keep the Oracle Disk. Alright. Now we shall save, so I don't have to go through that again. And we'll continue our grinding a little bit. Just ever so slight. We'll just do this enough that our Digimon have adequate levels, but then once it gets to the point that, like, obviously, it, once it becomes a super grind, maybe around level 30 or so, we'll probably... Destruction cannon, go ahead. We'll probably then just, uh, swallow it and, uh, do those two or so, like, side quests that have come up on the board. Because essentially, I just want the newly evolved Digimon to hold their own. God damn it. Good job there, Marine Angemon. You fail. Also, I find it funny that all of my Digimon have come to be, like, kind of a, a darker palette. Alphamon Yoryuken is dark and gold. Chaos Gallantmon is purple and gray. Omnimon Zwart is black. Mastamon is, like, half angel, half demon. Imperial Dramon is kind of dragon monster looking. And then there's Rosemon and Marine Angemon. I just find that funny. It slightly amuses me. I accidentally went with a theme almost. Then again, I did get a bunch of... <laughs> a, a bunch of stinking... Diddly-dee... Uh, Royal Knights. I didn't mean to go and get Royal Knights on my side so much. Just somehow... I ended up with a bunch of Royal Knights in my team. Hilariously, I even got, like, alternate versions of the Royal Knights. Zwart, Chaos Gallantmon. And then uh, I just have uh, Alphamon. Another Alphamon, which, again, I find hilarious. I have learned something, because I'm so used to just going through, uh, takes a sense that counters any magic attacks, that might be handy. Maybe I'll need to throw it on. Um, Grand Rock, Comet Hammer, I guess I'll get rid of Grand Rock. And you too got super destruction diddly d. Ah, uh, I guess Wolken Napalm 2, because we should have, yeah, Wolken Napalm 3, so. Wolken Napalm 2, we will get rid of you. Final heal? I wonder what final heal is. Also, this gives interesting experiences of 
random diddly dees. Hmm. We'll get rid of that. What's final heal? Super duper ultra heal. I thought you were the one that got final heal. So I guess it was... I don't think it was you. Well, you got final aura. Restores a lot of HP for all battle Digimons. And then restores a lot of HP for one battle Digimon. So I kind of have two Digimon that do the same thing, but at the same time, they're different sets. Hmm, ripping that is useless. I'll put final heal there. Anti-paralysis. So I'll put final aura there. And then all everything can stay the same. Let's go. And they get first attack this time, because world is mean. But at the same time, the hilarious thing is, at least uh, it's not even a fair, like, uh, showing of what we might be up against. Even though this is the last story area we went, the bosses are just like, oh, by the way, we're going to be whatever we need to be to uh, punish you. The enemies just decide. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Whenever the game does that, it's instant death. The first time it happened while I was grinding, I was like, oh my god, did the game break or something? And then the character just instantly died. I'm like, oh, that's what that chance of instant death is. And every now and then, when I forget that it's a thing and it happens, I'm like, oh god. Also, while I was pondering the game a bit as I grinded, you know, I forgot that there's a guard command. And I have to ask, what's the point of the guard command? There doesn't really seem to be that much, like, that many attacks that go, I'm going to attack next turn. And, like, give you the opportunity to mitigate damage. For the most part, it's just, yeah, I'm going to hit you with a lot of damage. And sure, you might say, oh, it's so that your Digimon might have a chance to survive to the next turn. Or you could just heal them. I don't get the... the diddly day. But... Hmm, I think maybe two more levels, and then we'll go and actually do a game game. This is just to get them up to a decent level where hopefully they would have uh, decent enough stats worthy of existing. Because even though I coddled Rosemon and never used her because like, oh, she's still leveling up. I keep forgetting that levels don't really mean much in this game and it's mostly uh, the, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. it's mostly they're like digivolution like state, mega, ultra, whatever. And from there, levels are just like, ah, this is a level 50 rookie versus a level 50 mega. And I do believe that that will be it for now. When it comes to grinding. Because we did enough grinding. So I shall set up my team as I want it to be. In which uh, Moraine Angemon will be swapped out. And Rosemon BM will be put in. Or we could put in Omnimon Zwart. And we just have a Royal Knight Bonanza. Hmm. I don't know. Royal Knight Bonanza it is for now. And then as we need them, we will ship them in. I forget exactly what we were even going to do. Do, uh, do we are in the case? Uh, no, we do not have a case. And the funny thing is, Kyoko is with us as a Digimon, so we can't even ask her where we're going to go. I could talk to Mire in the Digimon lab, but she's usually just, haha, lost your way, have you? And uh, tells me to fuck off. Desperately seeking babysitter. Dr. Datamon's medicine trial. Could it be a stalker? Princess's signed CD. 
Empmon Broadway 3 floor. We need a babysitter. We need you to play with the children. Want to give it a go? Sure. And that reminds me. I need to sell all of my Digimon medals. Even though I, uh... Don't really, uh... Need money all that much. I am flush with cash. I have just all the money in the world. I have all the medals. <coughs> even though, yeah, that's not a lot, even though I have a ton of medals. Well, let's see, where is... It said something Broadway, and this is Broadway, unless I'm going mad. Start at Broadway third floor. So, maybe the coffee shop? Hmm. This is the third floor, is it not? Fourth floor! Fourth floor. Hmm. I'm dumb and cannot count. But, impmon, impmon anywhere. He wants us to go into a vending machine. I don't think my ally will come with me. That would have been hilarious if she did. Dear God, there's a lot of ways to go in here. I didn't know that you uh, held your baby sitting in a maze. Also, why would you ask for babysitting from a detective agency? Huzzah. And yet Yuko's Digimon is with me anyway. Hilarious. Punch him. Or slash him. And yeah, it's about the same as my grinding experience, so... Continuing to annihilate enemies as we find them is the right way to go. I... I wonder how many times I've run from combat in this game. Well, this ain't good. They're both out to kill me. <laughs> of course. Uh, the uh, attack type that is not good for this mass matchup is the one that gets super combo. It does kill him! At the very least. So at least that's something. Uh, destruction cannon. Why not? I still love Dark Nuke from Space has come to annihilate you. Just is hilarious. And it does seem like Imperial Dramon is going to be my tanky boy. My boy of annihilation. He'll be thrown out into combat when I'm like, go, survive. When I have no better options. I don't think Omnimon has gotten a chance to fight. He just stands there as the other not royal knights do combat. <laughs> you know, I just realized something. All this time, I had the NX um, like the NX Royal Knights as like, ooh, special diddly D, you can do this. And I never used them because I was just like, no, I don't want to, and why is there an open chest? It's still not a few times where we go to a digital zone, and there's an open chest, and I'm just like, does that mean that we've been here before? What does this mean? What does this mean to me? Yeah, that's the drop-down point, I think. But yeah, I, I, whenever it's just random open chest, I'm just like, why is this, like, not its own place? Why is it a... Full on. Just like, screw you. I don't know. 
it just it weirds me out for some reason. Like, I, I guess I kind of get it because, like, digital places reusing data and stuff, so it's not, like, super crazy, but I don't know. It weirds me out. I do not understand it. Ah, yes, those things that I don't use. How many escape gates do I have? I want to know. I want to know. How many escape gates do I have? We have boosts that I haven't been using. Escape gate 58. Granted, it's just escape from battle, and I only have two home gates, which is return to base immediately, and export returns party to dungeon entrance. So really, it's not all that much. The escape gate is really kind of meh. You can escape the combat. Well, why would I do that? I have no reason to, like, escape combat. You have chosen a poor life to live, Garuruman. You must now die. You know, you didn't flinch, but that was, like, 75% of your health. Also, I don't know how, but Rosemond BM is somehow, like, a full level ahead of everyone else. How did that happen? Oh! No? No. My brain was just like, did I set her in the farm? Yes, I remember. I don't care. You're not real. I could distill you down for experience, and the game wouldn't even so much as admonish me. Yeah, I think I didn't need to worry about leveling up my Digimon as much as I did. Granted, again, these are random fights, and uh, they don't really uh, mean much. Because boss fights, or like staged tamer fights, those are kind of bullshit. We're gonna go and just completely and utterly change how everything Enemy Digimon, they don't even have a level. They technically do not exist within the same plane of existence as I do. And with all of these done, I think there's only one transport that we have yet to take. The one that is down there on the drop-down, which has a transporter from up here transport us down there. Really, I think I could just uh, smack you normally and you'll die slowly. I do have uh, a mean amount of allies with me, so it's kind of cheating, but... Hey, this is the perfect time to do these side content and leveling up my Digimon. Because I have two allies with me! <laughs> so yeah, it might not be a full representation of everything. But hey, if the game wanted full representation, it shouldn't jack up the stats of bosses like it does. All right, Mon, how's things hanging? Ah, you! You're from the detective agency, right? You're the one they've seen as a babysitter? Oh, I think, get over here! Suppose I should have said I'm the one you, you're babysitting. What? There's, uh, there's other, uh, there's another Digimon that always takes care of me, but he's out today. Today, you're gonna do it instead, so let's play! Let's play sumo. Sumo? Awesome! Let's do it, let's do it! Yeah, forget the rules. You can even use Digimon if you wanna. Huh? It's just a Digimon fight? I don't mind, sure! Alright, here I come! So the baby hired the babysitter. Well... I, I shouldn't be like, aha, take that, because I, by self-admitted, he is the baby. Defense penetrating, extra strong neutral attack on one foe. It doesn't even have a stat on that. Ultimate or you can, it takes half of my SP bar. And we nuked the baby from orbit. Is the parents gonna come along and nuke us? 
I think they will. Wow, he did not even give that much experience. Damn, I lost. I can't move a muscle. I hate losing, but that sure was fun. Okay, I'll take a short break and then it's on to round two. Edmon! Huh? That... that voice. <laughs> your, your guardian is Cybertramon. Cybertramon is the Digimon that takes care of me. Hey, Chuck, what are you doing? No, no, we were just playing. Shut up, Edmon. I was talking to this jerk here. So you wait until I wasn't home to try and take Edmon away? Th that's right, Cybertramon. This guy was trying to kidnap me. What is with these wacky shenanigans? What? There's no way I'm gonna let you do that! And now for the real test, I guess. Ha! Huh, not as bad, and that was a critical. Uh, smack him. I like the small smack. I could do ultimate Oryukin. I might have to. Well, let's see. I do have Transcendent Sword. Transcendent Sword! My own version! It's the same attack, and we just keep doing 79, 79, 79. Hilariously, my highest level Digimon took the most damage from that. Understandable. Let's see. This is Alphamon. Let's go ahead and do this, see what it, what it looks like at least. Ah, it is very nice. And Chaos Skeletmon, we shall swap you out for Rosemon, because you are fool. And mostly weak to him. Dispel. You weren't affected by anything. Hmm. Well, let's just do Transcendent Sword again. I'm still... I'm still amused by the fact that he's called Zwart. Omnimon Zwart. Well, let's see. Intelligence penetrating strong attack against foe absorbs 50% of the damage's HP. Nice. Well, let's see how it goes. Lol. And nuke. It was a double strength. Just goes to show how important... And that was only, uh, 1,400 for that experience. Oh, no. Just goes to show what type advantage is meant. Uh, stay away! Don't touch him, Mom! Huh? You didn't come here to kidnap him, Mom. You're his babysitter? What do you mean? We were hired. So, Impmon hired you. <laughs> Got you, your mind. Did you really think he was trying to kidnap me? <laughs> it's like he flicked him on the head. Ouch! You were lying to me! Sorry, sorry, it just sort of got it out of that started out that way and I thought it was funny. Sorry. Uh see how you've messed everything up by kidding around. I'm really sorry about the misunderstanding. I could have been murdered by a cyberdramon over an idiot child. <laughs> Cyberdramon is apologizing. <laughs> Once again, flicked on the head. And you're gonna apologize too. Sorry. But I hired this person so you could have a rest. You're always taking care of me and it's gotta be exhausting, so I thought you should take a break every once in a while. Hey, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, why do you keep hitting me? Don't you think it's a bit rude to refer to someone who came here just for you as this person? Oh yeah, sorry. Thank you for coming to play with him, Mom. I will take over from here. Aw, but I wanted to play some more. Okay, let's play again sometime. 
kind of hilarious. I do like how they're kind of quick, nice, one-and-done, quick-shot scenarios, but they have decent personality. Might be seen as stock by some, but meh. It's nice and fun. You know, I can't wait to see what Ultimate or Yukim does against, like, a normal... Uh, not a normal, but, like, a Digimon that it's, like, strong against. Oh yeah, this is a neat attack that we don't have anymore. It also has like a 5% chance of instant killing an enemy. Although the interesting thing is, it's one of those attacks that, since it does have the chance to instant kill an enemy, it rolls the chances un- This bastard again. It rolls the chances uniquely. Well, I was asking for this. Is good damage. I just had to see it. So that's a money giving enemy. Black King Numamons give money, 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 whereas Platinum Sukumons. But I, I think that's when they're in your party. Well, this is an amusing team matchup. I think she's stronger, at least Digivolution wise. And we get a crit. Hilarious. Nuke the angel from space! 2 2 2. Smack him. Utterly nice. Why do I feel like the attack and counter rate went up after we played with the boy? Played with Impmon. And once again a crit. What do you have against Enchuomon? Eighty-nine that time. Well I'll just go ahead and smack him, it should kill. Since he's weak in the knees. Weak in the bee's knees. And level ups for everybody. And the nice thing is, since we digivolved everybody, this also serves as a good excuse to go about and do all of the little quests that we have on the board, even as they have uh, risen in difficulty beyond this one. Goodbye. Nuked from orbit once more. Who shall you attack? Who shall you kill? Somebody who doesn't matter, even though they are weak to against you. That is one of the hilarious things of having an ally. The AI is like, aha, this fool is weak against me. And then I don't think they can die. So it's just kind of funny. I'm gonna attack this character who is of no consequence. To the Kirame Detective Agency. You know, even though uh, uh, she's gone. Yeah, she didn't even say anything. Four, three, three. Well, hmm. Four, three, four. Princesses sign CD. And Dr. Datamon's medicine trial. Well, let's do... Could it be a stalker? Talmon in Akihabara. I feel like someone is following me around. I don't know who, but I don't like it. Ask them to stop. Bank expansion drive and spirit disc. Ah, it's a teleporter one. You just got here. I've been waiting. Huh? Uh, sorry, I can feel someone watching me from somewhere. Could it be the person with a digi- Oh no, that's, I think, our ally. Yeah, that's our ally. <laughs> because we were meant to be here. That would be kind of odd if we got teleported here by a quest, and then we could do the main quest from the side quest. But anyway. 
It's been like this for a while now. It seems there's someone following me, keeping a consistent distance, and never letting me see them. Please, could you find whoever is doing this and tell them to stop? It's probably not them. Well, that was easy. While Greymon is looking at Talmon. You'd think that Talmon would be able to see it, but maybe Talmon can only look from the video game's predetermined camera angles. Oh, what the? You! How long have you been there? Uh, do you not like being stopped, you say? Oh, you little... How did you learn how to hide your presence? What do you mean? I... Is it because I'm a... No, that wouldn't make sense, because... You're a Digimon. And you're a digital monster, and even though that I am, like, digitized myself, half-digital creation specter, you should still be able to, like, sense me that way, because I'm digital, you're digital. I don't know. Could it be? Are you human? Well, half of that. Eh, kinda. But what? If that's a disguise, then who the hell are you? You're definitely not normal. I am the personification of darkness, War Greymon. Even though... Wouldn't that make you... Wouldn't that be more Black War Greymon's thing? I'm as capable as Talmon of definitely using strange techniques. How strangely specific. That's right, human. Fear me! You shall fall by my black magic. I don't understand you. And you get to go first, because you are mean. Hmm. Can change out to Chaos Gallantmon at least. Hmm. I guess. And Marine Entremon, because water attacks. Then again, I think. Uh, then again, I think Alphamon Oryokin has. Water attacks. I think I swapped them. That's kind of funny. Get smacked in the face. Boy. Let's do the super attack. For super damage. Decent damage. And healing. Well, that was mean. I could bring out Mastamon for revive. But then he'd go again. Hmm. I'll wait for... Hmm. Well, let's try Comet Hammer. Pokemon has failed me. But why is he calling it Black Magics? That makes no sense. Also, why'd I bring in Chaos Skeleton Mod? My brain is failing me. Hmm, since you're weak, I shall blast you. Also, that's hilarious. I brought out a virus type against a vaccine type, and my brain was like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. I meant to bring in Omnimon's Wart, I think. Hmm, my brain is just not working. Mastamon, come in so that we might use Revive. He has high speed, it seems. Hopefully you don't kill Mastamon. Came close. Revive! Now you have anger to the ultimate power, who says die. Because now they get the chance to attack you. And now everyone gets experience. Huzzah! And he only gives he gives me a lot of money, but only two thousand experience. When will experience heighten up? I I really lost the battle. <laughs> Are you crying? Black magic. Oh, that wasn't so bad. J don't make fun of me. I don't push your luck, human. I'll make you regret mocking me. Be afraid, for before long I shall send you a cursed talisman. For the time being, I will be leaving magic disappearing trick. 
Would have been hilarious. It's just running away without having disappeared at all. Looks like War Greymon dropped a diary or something. <laughs> I didn't expect him to drop the diary. Or keep a diary for that matter. Tuesday, sunny weather. Taumon looked so awesome today. Oh, I wish I could look as cool as he does. But first, I wanted to become a Black War Greymon. Oh, so that's what all that was about. Hilarious. Hey, I was watching from a distance. I saw the whole thing. The one following me was obviously War Greymon, but does he really talk like that? Huh, what's that book? <laughs> anyway, you drove him away, so thanks for the help. I'll send your payment on to your office later. That's... That was an odd encounter. <laughs> it just seems kind of disjointed. A war greymon that it seems to... R like the epicness of Talmon. But at the same time, wants to be a black war greymon for some reason. How odd. And I do kind of miss... Uh, Kyoko's running commentary on certain missions. But now we're to these. Dr. Datamon's Trial or Princess's Signed CD. Another farm expansion. You know the singer Princess, right? I want to be part of the event instead. And then I can push my signed CDs. Hehe. <laughs> what? I want to be a part of the event instead, so... We're gonna basically push some crime. All right, let's go do crime. Off to crime. Ah, you're the cyber sleuth. Your name is Neon. What an awesome name. I need your help. Please, please go to the princess event and get a signed CD for me. Oh dear, sorry if I've startled you. I will go through and explain everything step by step. I'm a huge fan of the single princess. Of course, I love to collect her merchandise, so I frequently attend fan events. Now she's debuting with a major label. It's the first time she's holding a major event. I'm so excited. I have a huge crush on her. This event seems to involve fan participation. It seems Digimon will be involved somehow. One, considering that the world is being attacked by a bunch of Digimon, it seems a little odd that you're like, I'm going to involve Digimon in my act, even if there are a lot of good Digimon out there. Two, how quickly was this event planned? I've, then again, then they say it's been like, ah, oh, like, didn't we vanish for a little bit? And they implied a time skip, so I don't know. I did add. Then again, you'd think the military wouldn't allow a music label to do something unless... Yeah, because this is a new quest. This is a new quest that popped up just now. So, yeah, the military would not be allowing a pop star to be uh, going and doing a huge fan event with Digimon during an ongoing crisis. <laughs> what? My love for Princess is so strong. I'm sure no one will be able to beat me. But I know nothing about Digimon. So, I thought I'd ask the Cyber Sleuth scene, as you know all about Digimon, to take part in the event and acquire CD for Princess for me. Well, leave it to me. Really? That's great. Thanks! So, I mean, thank you so much, sir. That's another thing. They've been saying, he, sir... I'm not sure if it's from the base translation, which I don't think it would be. Because obviously I'm playing the female model. I heard you're able to take on any case of ease, so this should be no problem for you. For such a person of yourself, this should present no problem whatsoever. Ahem. <clears throat> right then. The event is taking place up ahead in Shibuya Records today. Okay, sorry to be abrupt, but we should go now. What wacky thing shall happen today? Is the princess being controlled? Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to this, the debut uh, princess event. Everyone who wants a copy of her CD. <laughs> Cheers. Yes, just as I thought. Not, we can't just give them away, I'm afraid. So I'll qu quickly explain the rules. Is it going to be a tournament? 
I've released six cute little Digimon in six parts of the city, Shibuya, Nakano, Shinjuku, Akihabara, Asakusa, and Uno. Alright. So the Digimon you're looking for are Pabumon, Tanamon, Tokemon, Pukemon, Niaramon, and Yokomon. We will get now give out the stamp cards. When you find any of the Digimon, please ask them to stamp your card. Ah, I thought it was going to be a tournament. When you get six stamps on your card, return here. And you can exchange then, uh, then exchange it for a signed CD. What's more, Princess will give you the signed CD herself in person. That... That's the base model for, like, one of the... Not only... Not only the base model for some of the storekeepers in, like, Shibuya, but that's also, like, the base model for one of the Occult Club's members. Please, Neon, you must try your absolute best to win this. Also, hints will be sent on occasion via Digiline to keep, help you find the Digimon. So please turn on your cell phones and Digivices turned on. Keep them. My brain is going too fast for my mouth. So I will now give you the first hint. Abumon is here in Shibuya. Okay, let the games begin. Not Shibuya, but the other one, bleh. Also, nice to see. Edmon is still there. <laughs> the best singer. Alright, well, we're looking for a small, cute Digimon. Wow, such majesty. Ah, uh, hello, you're participating in the Prince's event, aren't you? You'll be one of you stamping. Here you go! A hint should be coming along by Digiline any time now. Please do your best to find in the other five. Any time now means instantly. All right, here, there's Tanamon somewhere in Uno. Well, off we go to Uno. I guess it makes a little more sense that they use cute Digimon. For a pop star called Princess. Ah, uh, you found me. <laughs> you want the people participating in the Princess event, right? Show me your card and I'll stamp it for you. What's going to happen? that's going to interrupt this, or is this just a hide-and-seek? I see this is your second step. Keep up the, up the good work. So I'm guessing that you can go to the ones ahead of time. It seems. Tokemon and Akihabara. Hmm. What were the other ones? I think they said Asakusa. Yeah, they did say Asakusa. I'm gonna s see if I can skip. That does not seem like you can skip. That would have been funny if you could skip. But nope, it is in Akihabara. Because the way that the Digimon said it, this is your second stamp, made me think that I would be able to... cheat a little. There's gonna... No way! You're a Tokemon, right? You're so cute! Why are you in a place like this? Are you lost? Hmm, I'm, um... Oh, I get it. You lost it. You're lost in the human world with all these weird phenomena going on, right? Okay, in that case, I'll be your new master. So, ah, so this is the twist. No, I already have a met. Okay, come with me. No, listen to me. I'll, I'll bite you. Wait. Huh, you talking to me? Who are you? Why, can't you just leave me alone? Me and come on alone in peace. You act like I've been a long-running villain in your life story. <laughs> Let's see how this boss fight goes. Luckily, thank you for hitting like an enemy that is not me. Annihilate you. God damn it. Would have been perfect for annihilation. And then it says no. No annihilation. And you hit the one that you're weak against. You are fools! Reduces HP of all foes by 25%. Huh. Seems neat. Darn it. Almost killed him. I shall smack you with my ultimate attack and see what happens. Probably should have swapped Digimon. Also, luckily, 
that. Lightning Paw is not that... Not all that worrisome at this stage. Now that we have lots of health. And hello, Pablo. Right now, we are in the world of Digimon Cyber Sleuth, trying to get stamps to help a nerd get a CD. Because we are the Cyber Sleuthin. Such is the life of a Digimon protagonist. Probably should swap out, but I, my brain is just like, no, attack! Why do you keep attacking them? Well, let's see what happens. That Digimon is obviously at the point where if it's... Basically, this will be interesting to see if it is 25 current health... 20... what? 25% current health or 25% total health. I want to know! That is a cool animation! It is current health. So at least it'll be nice to know in the future. Against bosses, that might be very nice. But otherwise, eh, not that much of a focus. And now the cat shall die. Goodbye, Black Godomon. Never mind, my ally decided this cat must be annihilated from orbit because he's like, no, I will raise your attack, so its death is more gruesome. <laughs> Level ups for everybody. You see, dear hacker lady, this Digimon is not in need of help. It has a job as a stamp giver for a CD event for a pop star in the middle of a total calamity. Huh, Tokemon, do you have another master? Yeah, like he was going to say. That's what I've been trying to say the whole time. Okay, fine. I'll just go look for a Tokemon without a master then. Hmm, next time listen to what people are saying. You came looking for a stamp, right? I'll give you one now. Hope you get that CD. Bye! So what you're saying is, I am the sole reason why anybody else would get the CD as well. Pokemon somewhere in Nakano. Because, if I were not here to stop that hacker from absconding with the Tokemon, well then the Tokemon would have been absconded with. And that means no more stamps. Oh, uh, Nakano, Nakano. The Nakano underpass. It better be just in the entrance, because if it's in the actual underpass, I had to hack this! I had to hack this! It did say Nakano, and I don't think there's any other Nakano. <laughs> I will laugh. I will be ever so slightly amused if... I will be amused if the cute Digimon is all the way in the back. All the way in the back where the, like, big story memory thing happened. And remember, stay hydrated while you're after a signed CD from a pop star in the middle of a digital interdimensional calamity. We shall nuke you with a Gaia element. But yeah, this is the only Nakano that I know of, unless my brain is super dumb. And I should probably organize my team. Of which, obviously, you stay. Bring in Gallant, Mon. Do I want Zwart in here? Mm, we could give Zwart some time to shine. Time in to shine in. Well, yeah, to put things into context ever so slightly. Yeah, this should work. This place was exceedingly locked off. And it's one of, like, the earliest places of digital world, yeah, bad things happening. And I will laugh if the pop star is like, yes, 
go into the super dangerous place, risk your soul for a stamp, for a chance at a signed CD. Hmm. I wonder. Chaos Gallant Mon just does not get a chance to shine very often. Ah, yes. Do not actually fight. We will just allow them to get away with murder. Probably didn't need the ultimate attack, but hey. Ultimate murder. Laser beams and fire to kill the poor man. And speaking of killing the poor man, goodbye. <laughs> the second possibility of funny aha would be if I am mistaken and I am dumb and there's actually a secondary not gonna know that I somehow overlooked. That would also be funny. As we nuke Digimon from orbit. Just like that. From orbit with a big rock. Or the power of nature. Also, I don't know why, but certain spots on the tunnel textures when we're in combat makes me think that there is a splotch on my monitor and it highly annoys me. I forget the proper like pathing to this place. I think because it is minorly a puzzle dungeon. Ah, we get first attack on the doomsday. Luckily, but there's one to be nuked. Now to play the game, how many enemies will actually get an attack off this round? Ha, ah, he survived. Good for him. Now, wow, Wizardmon, you have so slow speed that basically all of my team was able to go like three times before you. Granted, this is a lower level dungeon that we're trudging through for a CD stamp in a CD pop star competition. But the answer still is, uh, why in the world would a pop star send all her fans to their death in the tunnels below Nakano? Again, presuming that this is indeed the right area. Okay, I didn't expect that to kill, but it did. I don't think it showed his health. The game's like, yeah, he's gonna die anyway, you don't need to see his health. And then I think the right way to go will be left. What will be found? Will it be a stamp? Nope, I'm a fool. The game has punked me again. It's not my fault. I haven't been in this tunnels in a long, long time. Then again, why would they even have, like, uh, bars like that? It's like, no, we made this tunnel area, but you can't go this way. It's silly. Let there be stamp. Let there be stamp. Or there'll be a huge, like, fight. Either or. There's, like, no in-between. It's either a great big fight or nothing. Maybe the trudge here was the fight we made along the way. Get punched in the face. Get slapped with whip. And now get punched by a not-royal knight with a sword. You ever get punched by a sword? 
Now I'm imagining a sword that, like, has a blade and everything, but the tip of the blade is just a f metal fist. It would be a terrible weapon. That's basically like a bladed hammer now. Like a hammer with a, like a, a pole. Yep. Does not seem that I went the right way. Darn. Luckily, I can just say... Eliminates encounters! So if I just don't want to fight... Enemies. Okay, I didn't expect that to be... I guess I should have expected that because... That is like the final level of the thing. You know, I forgot. There is force encounters. But yeah, that's really just the only ones that, like, really leveled up beyond wall crack. Huh. I have no idea what a force encounter would be like if they leveled it up. Whereas this is just like, hey, you don't want to fight any Digimon at all? Go ahead. Which then runs the risk of then making you very, very underleveled, but just so that we're careful, I'll quickly check the side of the bars to make sure that there aren't any, like, Digimon hiding in the corners. Hmm. And then we'll have to look and see if it, there's a different Nakano. That my brain hath forgotten. Then I do the let me go this way. A part of me wishes there was like a run button. But at the same time, the random encounters are kind of meant to be a spice of epicness when you're in places for the first time or on your way to things. And normally I don't mind them. Quickly check. No Digimon. Who be Digilining me? Funny how I'm getting all of the, hey, who told you that? That is just a rumor. Question answers. So either I'm blind or there is a different Nakano. Perhaps both. I am both blind, and there is another Nakano. Obviously, that would be the ultimate answer. As we walk through the digital tunnels of death, wondering, where is the Digimon? Is the Digimon alive? Has the Digimon been abducted? Actually, that would be an interesting thing. We already saw one Digimon that was small and cute and cuddly almost get absconded with. So maybe the true thing... Well, then that would also require a hint of where the Digimon was taken to truly be a mystery. Maybe it's just back here. It is not just back there. Then we'll need to find... That probably all could have been avoided if I had just probably read the map screen better. There's... It says Nakano on the diddly dee. Ah, that Nakano. I'm very blind. I'm very blind. My bra <laughs> My brain says Nakano is Broadway, not Nakano. Who even calls this place Nakano? It's always Broadway. Fools. Then again, who knows? Maybe they thought if we put Broadway, people go all the way to America. Looking for a lonely Digimon. Then again, my idea of a Digimon mistaking this Nakano for the Nakano Tunnels, and then going there and forcing all these people to trudge through Digimon t t terror and danger, that amuses me. Also amusing is that I am dragging Yuko along with me on this adventure. And she has no problem whatsoever. Mm, this smells delicious. You made this really, really well, Master. 
Hmm, are you a customer? Would you like a drink? I came here for a stamp. Stamp? Oh, right, a stamp. Oh, I forgot about my job! You're taking part in the princess event, right? Okay, I'll give you a stamp thing. To be honest, I was supposed to stay on a busy passageway, but the cafe produces such a sweet smell. I just sort of wandered in. Once I came in and got completely hooked on this coffee, it's delicious! I can't blame you, my little dude. At least, <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. Nyaraman is an Asakusa. Granted, you also told us where all of them are at the start. I just, uh, I forgot all. I don't know where things are. Well, then again, I did know Asakusa was a thing. It's just that you weren't here earlier. I can't sequence break. Ah, oh, I see you've got one of those stamp cards. You must be taking place in, part in the princess event. Can I see the card? Hmm, I see. Surprise! Quiz time! After I give my stamp, how many more will you need before you got them all? I got the... One right outside of the Shibuya. One on the Akihabara. So, after yours, I'll need one more. One. Ding, ding, ding! The correct answer is one. Okay, now you can have my stamp. Basic math. But that's awesome that you've managed to collect so many. Just a bit further to go to get the CD. I'm honestly surprised that the military is just standing there. Yokomon is somewhere in Shinjuku. Once again, will they be in a heavily traveled place? Or will they be where the military is blocking off? Nope. Ah, I'd be harassed by a Vegemon. Stop! Let me go! What? Well, I just want to eat the insects on your flowers! It would make you look prettier, you know. That's not what you're doing! You're going for my whole head! Well, guess you figured me out then. Oh, well, too bad. I'm gonna eat you anyway. No, you can't! Hey, you over there! Help! Time to destroy a cannibal. If a Vegemon can be a cannibal... Well, really, anyone can be a cannibal if they try hard enough. Hilarious that a Vegemon is able to take an attack from a fully evolved Digimon. Ah, thank you, Alphamon. I'm gonna nuke you from orbit! And I think we just killed him! That was a close one. Thanks for the help. No one's eaten me yet, but there's nothing I can do to stop if someone tries. Huh? You want to stamp? Okay, give me your card and I'll stamp it for you. Amazing! That's awesome! Now you have all of them! Okay, get back there ASAP! If you hand that card to my master, you'll get a signed CD in return! So yeah, we just nuked a Vegemon from orbit. You're one of the participants, right? Do you mind if I verify the stamps? You got all the stamps! You're the first to finish! Congratulations! Right, please come over here to get your CD. Will the fanboy get in our way and be a fanboy about things? Thank you for your support, and remember, listen a lot, sing a lot. <laughs> Strangely squeaky voice. I think the guy forgot that he hired us to do the thing, and then forgot that since he didn't do the thing, that kind of disqualifies him. G give it to me! Who are you? I'm, no, I mean, this This is my friend. No, actually, this is my stand-in. I don't think that's legal. Stand-in? I'll get it from him. What does that even mean? Mm, well, please give him the CD. Uh, are you really this guy's stand-in or whatever? Yeah, he hired me to do it. He just hired you to collect all the stamps? Huh, that's pretty unfair. Huh? Unfair? So you just hired someone else to do all the work of gathering the stamps and then came here to take the reward? Well, yes, I suppose I did. I, I was just excited to have the chance to speak to you. I'm such a huge fan, you see. Mm, it seems like you're really a, you really are a princess fan, huh? Honestly, I'd give you both signed CDs, but that would make the event staff mad, so I'm going to give it to this guy. Sorry, here you go. Remember, kids, being weird gets you ahead in life. A CD signed by princess. I did it. Paying people to do work for you is how you advance in life! I don't even know what to say! 
that, that was a wacky dance that he was doing. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit overexcited. It was really hard collecting all the stamps. And I had to fight a random Digimon, had to fight a hacker. Really, it wasn't that hard. It was just the random circumstances of there not being anybody there to defend the defenseless child Digimon. I'm absolutely thrilled. Even with the few words I got to exchange a princess, I can't possibly thank you enough. I will, of course, send your feet to your office. Okay, then. Bye! We just assisted in undermining the integrity of a pop princess idol ad campaign event competition. Such is life, I suppose, for a cyber sleuth digital detective. And final actual side quest is Dr. Datamon's medicine trial. Client, Dr. Datamon. I am a famous, famous expert at making Digimon medicine. Call me Dr. Datamon. I need your help with my prototype. Ooh, a memory up and three friendship. Helping a doctor will help us with our friendship. I assume he's going to be in the hospital, but I forgot to look at the actual, uh, location. Uh, nope, central hospital still. Good, good. I wanted to make sure. Uh, can't wait to deal with more Platinum Sukumon's thing. Such is the crazy work of the Dr. Datamon. Hello, Dr. Datamon. Hi, thank you for coming here, Detective. I'm Datamon. People usually call me Dr. Datamon, though. Huh? You knew that? Sorry, I just can't stop saying it. So, as you know, the reason I've asked you here, Detective, is to help my help me experiment with my new medicine. And here it is. Virus medicine. Data medicine. Vaccine medicine. Free medicine. This is, of course, still the testing phase, but it is almost complete. What do you want me to do with this? Okay, then. Let's go th through this step by step, shall we? Please get four Digimon in this digital space to take the medicine. Of course, you'll need to get their cooperation before they actually take the trial medication. Please give each of them the appropriate medicine. Virus medicine for the virus Digimon, data medicine for the data Digimon, etc. I give, gave you full bottles of each type of medicine, but they only need to take a small dose. Please watch their reactions and report back. Remember, though, if you give a Digimon the wrong medicine, they may be, there may be serious side effects, so be careful. Okay, I'll wait here for your report. Well, there's already a Digimon up there. I will have to look up your, this, like, Digimon's existence to make sure I give it to the right Digimon. Or at least the right type. I don't think that was a sword. I think that was a slash. The downside of the Digimon, or at least Digivolving your Digimon so that they do more, is before these guys would have been annihilated on like the first turn. Now all my Digimon are slightly weaker, but also slightly more powerful, such as the way of life. I swear, the encounter rate in this place is insane. Nuke the fox from orbit. Mental charge field, because instead of killing our enemy, we will power ourselves up to kill them later. Kill him with the Gaia element of Element Gaia. Three. The third sequel. Once again. Let's see. Ah, Mac Rush. We don't need that. And even you have f final aura now. Huh. Might be nice to give you one. Get rid of Heavy Strike 2. Now you need to get rid of one. Nightmare 1, because it's the weakest in the series. 
But having Final Aura on... Uh, I guess Omnimon Zwart, I think it was. One of them had it. Oh no, maybe it's you. I think it was you. Brain is going... Final Aura! Very nice. Alright. First things, we will save. Because it's been a bit since we last saved. And now we will go to my field guide. Which apparently I got an achievement for that, Digimon Researcher. And we will find this Digimon. It's kind of the icy rock monster mon. Man, there's a lot of Digimon I've yet to encounter. And yet to Digivolve. I wonder if, uh, many of these Meteormon is Data. <gasps> you say you're helping Dr. Datamon. Oh yeah, he told me. Give me the medicine. Whichever one is fine. He is a Data type. That's alright, I don't mind testing it. Down the hatch. Just a little bit. Okay, got it. <laughs> wow! Amazing, amazing! This is awesome! It feels like all the tiredness has left my body! Right now I feel like I could defeat any Digimon at all! It feels really good. Please tell Dr. Danamon that his medicine worked! Here I thought that uh, his I could defeat any Digimon at all would have been a leap for him to start attacking me. Then again, maybe Dr. Datamon is creating an army of Digimon. And the medicine will allow him to take me on as his first conquest. Because again, the only time that I know a Dr. Uh, not a Dr., but a Datamon in Digimon has been as a villain. Then again, at the same time, there was an entire quest about Digimon that had a villain stereotype applied to them. And they were like, I, we are annoyed by this. I think this guy is a virus type, but I'm gonna look him up in the field guide. Let's see, what is your name? I forget your name. There's a lot of frickin' Digimon in the world. But I do know you're, like, Monster with Gun Hands, Dragon Man. Monster with Dragon Hands Man. Ma -da -da -da. You're a normal version of this guy. Kind of weird that it seems that you will be ahead, because I know we fought them before. Ah, Megadramon virus type. Figured you were a virus type, but it always does due diligence good to do due diligence. Megadramon seems. Oh, seems to be I in the medicine bottle. Gah, gah! You uh, get virus. He's raising his voice in glee, and his eyes are shining. Interesting that he cannot talk. Interesting, little man. And now... We'll need to travel about looking for two more Digimon, presumably. Just want to make sure there wasn't one hiding there, like the herbs. Because now we'll need to give one to a vaccine type and one to a free type. I could see some people forgetting that the free type exists. And they'll go, oh, I can just use that as a failsafe. This will work on any Digimon. Nope. Maybe Dr. Datamon should have gone through the entire rigmarole saying this one is for data, this one's for virus, this one's vaccine, and this one's for free type. Because you can't trust people in this day and age, Doctor. He is being a little bit... I guess flagrant... with the medicine without giving full instructions to us. Whose Digimon ability is, like, healing us all the time? I probably should have looked at my Digivolved Digimon's digital powers. Get nuked by 6910. It's not 6900, that would be 6900.
Ah, there's the Freet. I'm gonna assume that you're Vexy, but... Doesn't hurt to, uh, look up you in the compendium. You are Mega Kabuterimon. Mega Kabuterimon. Mega Kabuterimon. Mega Kabuterimon. Ah, you're over here. Yep, you are Vaccine, my dear man. Mm, that medicine bottle you're holding in your hand. I see you're Dr. Datamon's new assistant, right? I heard you were testing out some new medicine. Is it okay if I try some? Sure thing, my dude. Here is your effective type. Okay, so I tried this one. Got it. Oh. oh. This medicine is amazing. It feels like my body is overflowing with power from head to foot. This medicine is a huge success. Please tell Dr. Datamon that his medicine worked. At the same time, this isn't really the uh, scientific method because you need to uh, do really long trials with people to make sure that, you know, there aren't any long-term side effects. Mainly because if you do give someone medicine and they immediately go, oh my god, I'm dying, that's no longer medicine, that's a poison. But at the same time, it could also depend on, like, dosage, dosage relevant relative to the person. And again, lingering side effects. What if these people can never go to sleep again? Do Digimon sleep? Do Digimon dream of electric sheep? Obviously, you are a free type. Hmm, you want something. Medicine trial. I don't remember if he told me about that or not. Well, I suppose I could try it, but which one should I take? Free type, because I had a pale Dramon. This one. I'm a bit scared to tell the truth, but I'll give it a go. Huh? To be honest, I thought this medicine was going to be much worse, but I, my body actually feels lighter. And I feel power surging throughout my body. This is great. Please go tell Dr. Datamon his medicine is good. You should get this out to the market as soon as possible. What do Digimon use for money? Ah, you're back. What were the results of the trials? I gave them to the relevant Digimon, and uh, all of them seemed good. The w One of them couldn't talk. I see, but the results don't matter anyway. I did not make this medicine. I can see on your face that you think I'm an imposter. Please don't think that. Allow me to explain. This is the medicine my teacher made. Somehow or other, it seems I managed to mix them up. Now I need your cooperation to get the correct medicine out to the trial subjects. What? What do you mean? Uh... Was that a translation error? That seems like a translation error. Because it seems like he said that he messed up the medicine and now needs further help, but it ends the quest. And again, as much as I do like this game, the translation is definitely not a high point. And we got a memory up at least, but yeah. So... Ba -ba -ba -ba. He didn't make the medicine. His master did. And he needed help getting it out to the right. I don't understand you. You are very weird. You are an odd man. You are an odd digi man. I shall now save, and we will now go to Akihabara or whatever and continue the main story because we no have no longer have any side quests to do. Shibuya. Well, Shibuya, not Aki. Well, is it Shibuya? No, it's not Shibuya. It is Akihabara. My brain is boiling. We will talk to Alternate Universe Chan. Let me make sure that my setup is good. Hmm. All in all, I think I'll bring you back in for a Armored Battalion of Woe. I'll use a bit of that to raise that up. And we will save once more since we're right here. And uh, saving is good. 
Here, are, here we are, the fanboy fantasy at Kihabara. Also conveniently, the ideal starting point for a penny pinching gourmand. Let's have a look. Do you have? Do you think maybe we'll do something other than restaurants ever? There's nothing as wonderful as a huge taming food adventure, or food venture for short, that keeps the wallet and the stomach full. It's okay if you're not hungry. I swear that I'll have seconds in your honor. <laughs> this is just another instance of human humankind's folly. Whoa, 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 let's not go, let's get crazy. No one said I wasn't hungry. Okay, so maybe this is not the right place. I just saw them. Then again, I do remember alternate universe lady was taking that one out. Just like, hey, don't be crazy. Uh, I forget where we were going to go. Oh, yeah, I think we're going to go to the Tokyo Mo Metropolitan or we were going to go in. Yeah, I think we're going to the Tokyo Metropolitan. Where Leopardmon is. I completely forgot. Fighting between the humans and powerful Digimon has already broken out in the area around the Metropolitan office. Magnamon and Old Force Vidramon are preventing the battle from expanding. Yeah, that looks bad. It's only a matter of time before the scale increases. And there's a powerful force field near the top level of the Metropolitan office. Leopardmon may be there. All right, utter horror. Trivia time, which Digimon has no sword? Leopardmon, Minervamon, or Vidramon? Vidramon? I don't think he has a sword. You'll be fine if Kyoko's with you, but still, be careful. Thanks. Don't worry about the city, I'll take care of it. You do what you need to do. You too, you be careful too, Mr. Mariyoshi. I feel like we haven't talked to him in forever. Well, let's go to Doom. There's a military man just standing by the open counter. And another uh, army man here. Would be interesting if the army men like, were like, No, you can't go in. You should save yourself and fight us with Digimon. Friends help each other out when things get rough. Otherwise, they'll regret it. <laughs> Me and my friend's a bit rough right now. Yeah. One of my friends... A lot of things are happening with me and my friends right now. Some miasma has flooded the upper floors. I'd head up there to check it out, but the elevator's broken down, and monsters have taken up the stairwell. The only way in is to take a helicopter and enter through the roof. Or, you know, fight the monsters in the stairwell with other monsters. Most of the government offices have moved back into the old city hall now that Tokyo is like this. That's actually an interesting, like, uh... Bit. They're actually telling us, yeah, bad things are happening. Demonic disaster! Get nuked. Nukes for everyone! And levels for everyone! Looks like the elevator to 40F, the power is down. Oh, so these must be shortcuts! That means that this is a super dungeon! Oh no! Hmm, to the 30th floor. So yeah, it looks like we start in the, not the 30th floor. Who the hell is the guy on the left? Well, he's dead now, and I forgot to read his name. Then who are you? Almost dead man. You look almost like the Kabuterimon line. I do have Transcendent Sword, but I don't think that he needs to die that way. Kind of a waste of him, uh, SP. Yeah, it seems like... Let's see. 
We don't have access to a map. I think we begin at the 13th floor, apparently. Even though the guy said the elevators are out. And then we can go to the 14th floor. But I want to adventure down this various place. It's a dungeon. So why not dungeon? Hopefully this isn't like a super duper uh, evil dungeon. It says I can go to the 14th. So this probably seems like a puzzle. Quote unquote. In which I'll have to go up and down the elevators to find my way through. That is what I am assuming by the layout of things. And here I thought it would be a stairwell climb. Maybe I should have gotten more revives. Well, since it seems that we're gonna be going up and down, up and down, let's go up. Ooh, item. Multiple items. Demonic disaster! Nuke him from orbit! Why does he have so much health compared to the other guy? Ooh, critical. Nice. Thank you, Kyoko. But we don't need extra intelligence to beat up this guy. We need damage. I thought maybe normal attacks would be able to do it, but I'd rather not risk it. We have the SP to spare. Levels for everyone. Ooh, SP Capsule A's. Yeah, this is definitely kind of a maze. In that you need to go up here to be like, ah, that's where things are blocked off, then go back down, and then use the way down to go back up. If that makes sense. Of course I won't be reckless. I don't want to die just yet. Same goes to you. And my mother has yet to reply. Mariyoshi is in the middle of a war against evil Digimon. Who the hell is that guy? Hi, Andromon. Is it uh, is it off his own supply? Excuse me. Bless. He looks odd. I don't know why. Get splashed, fool! Now get smacked by sword! Again, I want to reiterate, I did not plan to end up with three alternate versions of the Royal Knights. I just went with that. Digimon cool. You're my pride and joy. I don't know what's happening, but I won't abandon you. I'll just go and do my job far, far away. But yeah, I accidentally ended up with just various versions of the Royal Knights. Alphamon Oreo, Chaot Chaos, Gallant Knight, and Omnimon Zwart. Zwart, Zwart, Zwart. All by pure happenstance. I don't know why that there would be these side passages. Also, this is kind of funky, weird music. Wanted to make sure that there was nothing on that end. I wonder if, like, all of these Digimon are in on the Royal Knight's evil plan to destroy the world. Or if they're just here. 
Like a bunch of Digimon just are. Give me this item. Chrome Digioid. Digioid? What is a Chrome Digioid? There's War Greymon's Diary. XY will be sunny. The power that dwells in my body is ancient. Harmonious Will. Special data entrusted by Magnamon. Crystallized Will of Gentle Digimon. Steel Will. Yeah, those, those, those guys. Parallel World IC card. Farm expansion, farm development. Then is Chrome Digioid usable? What is a Chrome Digioid? I forgot that we have a Digi Egg of Courage. We never did anything with that. What is a Chrome Digioid? Did I just miss it? Where are you? I feel like I'm going insane. Maybe I am insane. There is no Chrome Digioid in uh, Box Bossing Say. It doesn't exist. Shut up. Item. Nice. Platinum Numamon Metal. Now you're just taunting me, aren't you? Eh, go for the bug. The bug is still alive. Horror. Blast him in the fire. All in the fires. That works really well. Good job, boy. Blade of the Dragon King! We can't do that anymore. We traded out our magical sword for an axe! Hit him with some rocks! Indoors. Guess the dude just opens a portal and says, Rocks, bash that man! No item there. I feel like the game's the ink of my chain. And no item there either. Huh. Wish I could, like, open up the whole... diddly D. Oh! I did not know that that was a thing that I could do. I thought it would be, like, a wall. And then the game is like, Psych! Idiot! It's actually a drop! Thank God that I decided to check that on a whim. Like, seriously. Blocked off areas should not have the same icon as drop down areas. Guard charge field. You are a fool and you are going to die a horrible, painful death courtesy of me. Ah, I won't begrudge that. Supreme Cannon. I didn't know that we had that. Neat. In honor of our friend, we will just smack you. Our friend says, I don't use attack attack, I use basic attack. And in solidarity, we smack. So yeah, this is going to be a series of mazes. All the way up. I'm going to look for an item down here. Come on, you have an unneeded, air, like, stretch of land, and it's not an area that I can go to? How mean. Hey, 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 listen! I, I, I finally did it! I have something to tell you. I'm actually dating Ryota. It's been like five billion years. <laughs> Did something happen with Sakura? <laughs> and why again? I don't know why that is a thing. <laughs> Congrats! 
That is a very... Again, the translation is a bit odd. Why again? Is that a callback to where I ask them why on something? This feels like a boss area. Wide open. HP sprays definitely feels like a boss area. I can go to the 27th floor. There's no power to the elevators in this lobby. Oh, wait. Oh. Now I can go down from the 15th to the 1st. Okay. So, and here I thought that I'd have to go all the way through all of them. Apparently not. Oh, God. A three-floor puzzle. Oh! And I can't even look at the layout of the entire place. Hell world. Ah, Saber Leomon and... Or at least I think that's Saber Leomon and Rosemon. What majesty. You scare me. Die. He did die. Ha-ha! Eh, ah, just smack him. It's not much worth Belford. <laughs> Critical smack! And uh, that actually did a lot of damage. Good for you. How dare you hurt my friend! You watered the plant and somehow killed it. This does mirror real life. Level ups for all. Revival Capsule DX? Is that just the everyone gets back up? Yep, revives one. No, that's the full spray. Bleh. Everyone is spamming my Digiline. Another Digimon invited me to try this Digiline thing. You've been calling me for a bit now. Nope, that's a reverse drop down. Guy on the left, not that scary. Guy on the right, I hope he dies. Kill. Fine, the guy on the left gets to die. He didn't die. What the hell? I forgot to check his name again. Then again, let's see what your name is, Mr. Hercules Kabuterimon. I knew you were part of the Kabuterimon line. I foresaw your mysteries in a crystal ball. Combo time! And we're getting decent experience from these two. That's always nice. I don't understand why they're split into three. It's like they're trying to kill me. Multi recovery! Huzzah! The hell are you? What is a monster from Super Sentai doing in my Digimon game? Goodbye, Magna Angeman. How dare you live? Fine, we'll just smack the Magna Angeman. He'll die. If he didn't die, I would have been very disappointed in you. Oh, will the 5% instant death kick in? It did not kick in. Ravemon. Not even Ravenmon, just Ravemon. You should have seen him. They're here raving. Cuts to Maurice with the glow sticks. Whoa, slow down, Maurice. Hey, I've seen this one before. Eh, we'll just drop a rock on you. And of course, you get the super combo energy. Annihilate the woman. And then the Saber Leomon followed.
And there's still another chapter after this. What item be this? Mental melon. Things to give them in the place. Good, good. No, not ultimate or you can. The game really likes giving the damage up to you. Which then leads me to come over here and nuke the the flower woman once more. Once again, you could have just killed him. Hilarious. I ra uh, he raised our attack, he lowered our defense. It all comes together. Now, uh, throw rocks at him. Ah, now you kill him. After he had a chance to murder us all. Soon Marine Angemon will reach his maximum potential. Good for him. Yeah, it's a drop down, not a drop up. It is not a thing that I can use right now. I think that's a drop down for me here, though. He didn't get the damage up that time. The world is healing. 69-9. Death to the Rose. Level ups for everybody. It never ends. And just because I think the other one is simpler, we're gonna quickly head over to the elevator on the other side to get that item box, because why not? Note to self. Use all elevators as you find them. There's no reason not to. At least at this point. Especially since they're giving me things that I might very well need. I think the game is telling me something. It's basically pointing at me, laughing. You are gonna die! Brave point B, which I believe is just more experience. Once again, the game is saying, I am going to die. Here is a bunch of things to make that death elongated. Not much of a void. A little bit sonic, but not really void. Nuke the Angemagna Angeman. Throw fire at him. Why not? Blow. A light smack to the head. Water the bird. Water the bird to death. Again, I find it hilarious that it's Omnimon Zwart, and that is a full revival spray from a random drop? A full revival spray from a random drop? Yeah, okay. We'll just get rid of this guy immediately. How dare you live? Die already, we don't need you here. You don't need- we don't need your minuscule damage to annoy me. Rune Forest? That's a neat effect. Cool for you. Transcendent Sword. You get blasted from above. And flaming sword strike. And it only did 300 damage. 
really puts things in perspective, don't it? Then I believe we come back over here. That is a drop down. And then I don't think we went to the 29th floor through this elevator. Interesting drop down. There's an elevator there, but I want to see if there's a random item. You can never tell if there's going to be a chest. Well, you can't tell if there's going to be a chest. It's on the map. Oh dear lord, that guy has balls. It's the shoulder ball man! Fear him! Ah, uh, maybe fear him. He actually has a lot of health. Nuke him! From orbit! Die! I don't think that guy has ever gotten to attack me. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. Ah, uh, of course you would. You don't even have anything underneath your loincloth. You fake. Instant death? No instant death. Sadness. Throw rocks at him. Because he's ugly. Let he without sin throw the first magical rock of doom. God damn it. I swear if you heal again, I'm going to... I don't even think that would kill you. Once again, don't you dare heal this. Don't you dare heal. Thank you. I'll take the damage. You made ice, then you smashed the ice. Congratulations. Now you're dead. Well, let's see what's at 28th floor. This might back... Ah, an item. Bank expansion drive. What's with all these expansion thingies? At the late game. Hey, we know that you're getting to, like, the end of the game, so have a bunch of stuff. Will, will chapter 20 just be an epilogue? Wait. We have to deal with Arata. So chapter 19 is going to be beating down Leopardmon. And then I'm going to guess that chapter 20 is going to be either killing or trying to save Arata from himself. And Dr. Suido. However you say that name. However you say that damnable, damnable name. Making sure there's not a random item over here. You can never tell. You probably could, but I can't. Back to level 27. Back to, I say, as if I've been here before. I do kind of enjoy this kind of puzzly way. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But the going up and down to different levels while kind of using the other levels to map out where you are currently, it's like, it's interesting. Oh, the level 30. Yeah, we don't really need all those items. I'm not so obsessed that I will go, ah, must have all. I probably should have saved, because now there's a cutscene. The other time we entered this kind of place, I thought that would be it, but no, now this is it. Hello, dude. You are the Mega Digimon working with Omnimon to aid the humans? Even though you... enemy though you may be, I applaud your ability to have defeated Crusadermon. I merely lent my strength to the others. But without your power, Crusadermon would not have been beaten. No, that is not certain. Can one who has lost his just cause still attain victory? If you wish it, I would happily resolve this without violence. That is not possible. We are already far beyond that now. Don't you think that the other destruction of the real world is a mistaken course of action? Needless to say, even I may look evil in your eyes. I have but one path to follow. One path to believe in. Come, my comrades, and you humans. Which path is correct? Let a test of strength decide for us. Ooh, epic music. Weapon's breath. Huzzah. Don't kill everyone. Oh, hey, that almost killed everyone. 
Hmm. Omnimon Zwart. Uh, bring Mastamon in. Wait. Hmm. I can buy revives. So I don't really know why I'm scared. I'll bring in Imperial Dramon. And Rosemon. It's a good thing I decided to bring in Imperial Dramon. Dragons? Hey, actually said it. Haha, <laughs> you hit the wrong one, idiot. Demonic disaster! Go ahead and smack him, I guess. Probably should have used you to heal. I'll go ahead and attack you with this. And then next Imperial Dramon, I will use that to he revive the dead boy so they can get experience from the boss. Oh, he gets to go twice because he's an asshole. Never mind. Once more, I smack you with my full power. Weapon's breath, huzzah! Please don't kill Rosemont. God damn it, that even killed Rosemont. Will not change. Item. Revive you. Lol. And another Imperial Dramon. So Wevern is just... Wevern's Breath is just a bullshit move, in my opinion. We'll go ahead and revive you, because you need experience, too. And now we're gonna nuke you. Come on, allies, kill him. That's not what we need right now. We need damage. Like this. This damage. <laughs> and a memory up DX. And that is why I revived them, because experience is good. Frickin' 10,000. 11,000. This... This is good. To murder myself for my path. An honorable end. I reach the end without wavering in my faith. My life will conclude in annihilation. The way of the night is in death and discovery. <laughs> uh, you sound kind of insane there, boy. Was his laugh a bit silly to you? <laughs> it's all down to the will of King Drasil. Both sides determine the course of events now. The Royal Knights and a single program. No matter how powerful you may be, you cannot run from destiny. We shall check it out. Strawberry parfait in front of the station is heavenly. This world rocks. As I am fighting for my life. You mean the supersized parfait at the station front cafe? You ate all that? <laughs> you maniac. And then let's organize the team again. Bring in the whole group. Ah, an item over here. <laughs> Another memory up. Why wasn't that just given to me in the battle? I think they've done that before. The power to this, uh, this, there's power to the elevators to the lobby. So if I really wanted to run back to Broadway and get tons of heals and stuff. Let's see. Where to go? How puzzly will this puzzle be? No item there. You can never 
you can never know if there will or will not be a sheeny shiny. Hmm, that's a drop down to this one from elsewhere. There's an item over here. Wonder if there'll be a drop to that one. Bunch of HP sprays. So maybe I should use the heals more liberally. Oh, great! Now it's Dark Master's time! Oh, boy! You scare me more, Piedmon. You're not turning me into a keychain. And plus, you look just creepy, Puppetmon. Why am I not surprised that the Dark Masters would appear up here? Well, this is a further drop down. So I guess to get, like, all the items in all of the areas is what would really take up time. Luckily, I'm not really all that... completionist when it comes to that kind of thing. I'll just go through them... decently. If I don't get them all, oh well. Then again, they are decent heal items. Eh, it doesn't seem. I have other floors to check out on that elevator. I could do that. Hmm. Now I need to save it for, like, bosses and stuff. Destruction cannon his face off. Force him to use X heal. And kill that guy so he can never do an attack against me. Uh, we could have used an actual attack. Then again, this guy seems very slow. Why is everyone like, ah, we're gonna do this and not actually bah? I guess let's see with Supreme Cannon. Ah, I killed him. Nice. Levels for everybody. Do you have anyone you like? Keep it a secret, I say, as I tell him nothing. And obviously he'll respond with, I will keep the secret forever. Ah, this one actually did have a shiny, and then the game is like, fight Piedmon. Fight Piedmon, we will. Goodbye, Piedmon. We keep nuking the clown. Burn the puppet. To the ground. <laughs> puppet pummel. And then Alphamon is just like, I'm going to take your soul then. Then again, does that really count? Because he's a Digimon already. So if you digitize his soul, it doesn't really do much. Ah, now even Rosemon BM has revive. Very nice. Another memory up. Not that I, I don't begrudge it. Well, it'd be nice if I ever want to do a New Game Plus run on my own time. And now we will use you to at first see what's down on the first floor. <laughs> There's another elevator, but we won't check that out until we see... Oh, yeah! This literally is the Dark Master's floor! Machine Jermon, Metal Seed Jermon! Where's the Jermon Destroyers when you need it? Die, Data Monster! I wonder if this means anything. Because, like, the Digi Destined in Adventure had hefty problems with the, the Dark Masters. Meanwhile, there's me absolutely annihilating Dark Master Digimon back and forth and forth and back. Wait up. Oh, the mochi. Woo! Half of it went to Kintaro's Mon, by the way. So he really was hungry. More escape gates, even though I'm not going to use them. Random fights aren't dangerous. 
Yeah, we already were here, and then we go up, see what's over here. More items. Brave point A if I want to super level up Digimon, I guess. Like, well, how much experience even is a brave point A? 40 frickin' thousand! I think that's enough to super level up, like, any of my Digimon. Maybe even him. This specific, like, squeaky instrument in this track is a bit odd of a choice. But yeah, from now on in boss fights, I definitely need to make liberal use of... the heal sprays to try and keep in the fight. So I don't have to risk too much. Hmm. I think that's the way it wants me to go. Then again, any of them could be the ways it wants me to go. So we'll explore the 37th floor and hope it's not the way it wants me to go. There is an item and a drop down. At least, yeah, that has to be a drop down. We'll ignore that for now. Because we have other floors to explore. As always, check for shiny. There was no shiny. Profound sad. Right as I was going to open the chest? Jerks. Blast him. And we destroy your dragon friend, because he's ugly. You'll use X heal, because you're a fool. Unless our ally wants to just annihilate you. He did not, in fact, annihilate you. You used X heal because you're predictable. And we're just gonna shoot you with a super spre. A super spre. It almost killed you. And that's almost half as good. Combo time. Annihilation time. I love the, just the way that Digimon falls on his back when you beat him. It's like he ran into a rake and then fell over. Oh, he's gonna grab you, yeah. SPD boost. Hmm. And there's another elevator over there, which we will ignore for now. Oh, great. Metal Edamon and Dark? Uh, what is it? Ba 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 ba. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be, like, Dark, uh, Sakuramon. But no, it's Kuzahamon. Annihilate the Metal Edamon. Even he also is here from the... Babidi-ba, Dark Master's Arc. You do not get to do anything. I didn't even know that there was, like, a Dark version of Sakuramon. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect him to actually die. Usually my allies let me down when it comes to heftier enemies. Ah, great. We have to get rid of another attack. Doubles the damage inflicted next turn. Or you could just attack twice. I'm getting rid of you immediately. I don't understand things like that. Where they're just like... You get to do more next time. When you could just ask, well, why can't I just do that now and then do it again later? You ever think about that, dipshit? It makes no sense. Yeah, well, we're going to head back. Go to the 39th floor. See what it has in store. A uh, bishop disc, not really that anything that great. More dark masters to obliterate. Critical! Really, who even needs the Dramon destroyers? 
We are the Dramon Destroyers. Seriously, on a scale, how even, like, how strong is, like, our hero here? The main character of this game. Hmm. I'll have that just in case. It might be a neat thing to do. Like, if the enemy is mean and like, I'm gonna do a big attack, and then I'm like, fine. Heal, then use that. Have fun. Being hit by your own attack, it probably won't even do all that much because the game's a dick. Hmm. We'll gently explore the various places, see if they're small. Like this. More farm goods. More Dramons. But yeah, it could be that these Dark Masters aren't as, like, strong as the actual Dark Masters from Digimon Adventure. But I like to imagine that it's just like, we are super strong. We're super strong. Then again, we took down Examon. I wonder how... <laughs> how Examon scales. So, like, the Digimon from the animes. Revival Capsule DXs. Well, let's check out this place. Elevator or... Ma, a box. Smack to the face. Smack to the neck. That sends him flying sideways. And now use X heal. Oh no, ice archery. Here, I thought you were gonna be a pure coward. We didn't even need that heal. And a uh, super soaker bl blister blast for 5,000. Because why not? Then again, what am I talking about? I literally have three goddamn... Royal Knights. Four Royal Knights on my team right now. And I'm just like, see how strong I am? I'm so much better than the Digi-Destined of Adventure. Yeah, because... <laughs> they only have one Royal Knight. I think. That makes me so much better than those silly kids. Nuke to the face. Schmack. Everyone is just like, no, no time for attack. We do other things. Supreme Cannon Face Blister Blaster. To the face. I just love the designs of some of these Digimon. They're so very nice. Then I believe... Which one is it? 37 or 38? That wants me to go down. Yeah, we came here, so it's 37. I'll quickly travel down to see if there's any items. Smack Metal Edamon. Again, I find it hilarious that, like, all of the big bads from the Dark Masters arc are here. No idea how you fit into it. So who knows? You missed! How could you miss? He was standing right there! A banana stunned you. How could you let this happen? A banana. You let a banana stun you, you fool! You will not get a chocolate sundae tomorrow. Ah, 
And there's an item box down here. Full revival spray. But that basically only really works if I have like a full dead team out there, or at least two. Let's see what number 36 has in store for us. A box. Wanna buy a box? A 10. HP spray tabbies. Okay. The game is scaring me with how much it's like here. Have shit. I prefer to travel the path of not falling down. Smack him in the face of a destruction cannon. And then smack this guy in the face with a big demonic blaster. And now use X heal. It's like the after the second time he wants to subvert expectations. And of course Supreme Cannon. Because you must die. And to think, we only digivolved these guys this episode. This episode. Well, this stream. Which could be considered an episode. A full-length movie! Up to the 40th floor. Because I'd rather to not complicate my experience by going down a floor and then dropping down, diddly-da, coming back up again. No, thank you. Boss time or not boss time? It seems to be alternating. Where one big floor up, they're like, nah. The next big floor up, fight. And... Floor 48. How many floors are to this play? Okay, I thought there was going to be another one. I, well, it technically fits the thing. Next big floor up will indeed be a boss fight. I was not wrong. Oh boy! A triple! Oh baby, a triple! Die! So yeah, things are getting bigger. Please use X Heal for the hilarity of things. Ah, Don't you know comedic timing? Big man. Now the comedic timing would be if... Ah, uh, but it wouldn't really hit as hard. I was gonna say, it would be hilarious if, like, the instant death kicked in there. But then my brain said, but it would have been even funnier if he did exhale, got hit by the soul digitization, and then instant died anyway. We'll save, just to be safe, because we're almost to the goddamn top. I thought there was going to be, like, one more set. It did say, like, 50th floor, though, I guess. So I really shouldn't be that surprised. Well, what the hell is over here, then? Well, let's see. What does it say? Roof? No, I want to see what the hell is over here, then. Is it going to be God? You found a Pokemon game. Well, I did find a miracle in there, so I was it wasn't that far off. Well, off to the roof we go. I didn't expect to get there. Once again, I thought it was going to be a bit more of a maze. Ah, oh, Rod is already here to fuck shit up. In all the sense of that. Is he contained, or is he absorbing? Oh, uh, you came. Good thing Nokia's not here to see this. Nokia's probably gonna show up flying on Omnimon, isn't she? He's still recharging. I'm thinking I'll eat him once he's charged. No, that's not it. The truth is, I was waiting for you, Neon. Do you remember way back when? It's okay to laugh. I was such a dork. I said I would protect you all. 
But actually, I was just scared. I was scared, and I, I left him behind. Oh, oh Rada! You tried to help you go back then, didn't you? Thanks. On behalf of my best friend. But I'm sorry. That was supposed to be my job. And it's one I'm finally ready to do. That's why I've been eating, eating, and eating. I've gained so much power. And so... You do understand that you're technically an eater now. Oh, God. He's just gonna open a door to the digital world. No, he's going to become a... What are you become? Oh, he's gonna go full, full eater. Yeah, I don't think we're saving Arada. I don't think we're going to save him. Huh? A being called Arada. Don't interfere. Get out of my way. Forget my past. And let me do it all over again. Just don't look at my hideous form. I'm asking you as a friend. And so, give me your power! I thought we were gonna deal with you in chapter 20. A being called Arada. Power loss. He took a damage for that. Eater Atom! Eater Atom! Okay. Smiggity smack him with all we got. Smiggity smack him with everything. He might be neutral bull, but we are the we are Royal Knights uh, B team. Supreme Cannon! Take this, Eater Atom. Eat my stream! Just blast, just blast, just blast! I love the music that's playing, but I am that. I am scared. I know this is meant to be. Uh, I honestly don't want to get him, let him have an attack. Transcendent sword. Tyrant Cluster. You get to have two attacks anyway, so... HP Spray... A. Oh, I don't even have any allies for this. Supreme Cannon. I think he healed, for, healed during that, too. Bastard. Demonic disaster! Spray B. Ah, oh, just a normal attack, huh? Ultimate Oreo Kun. Come on, fall already, Eater Atom! Tranquility. Well, luckily that's not too bad. Keep blasting! Don't give him a second of quarter! I feel like he's gonna get angry in a second. Once again... Again, epic music in the background. Just very scary. Supreme Cannon his face! Thematic, as it's the Zwart version of Omnimon. Sorry, Arata. In that form, you are not my friend. 18,000. I will. I will. Neon, help him. You helped me, didn't you? Arata, at this rate, you're going to... Why are you hesitating? Are you uncertain whether you can do it alone? 
whether he'll even hear you. Don't underestimate yourself or him. He'll hear you. How do I know? You two are friends, right? He tried to eat me! Well, I guess his, like, wanting to eat me does come from his own self-doubt and stuff, but... Yeah, oh boy, we get to go through another eater and this place is tripping my head. We can't save. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yo, dipshit. Why did you come here? Did you need another look at my pathetic self? You're incredible, you know. Always able to do the right thing straight away. But I'm not like that. I can't do anything. Read about how to look. And it ends again without me being able to help a friend. How pathetic is that? You went and became a supervillain, my dude. I'm such an idiot. I kept telling myself that since this world was digital, Yugo would be safe, since none of it was real. But that's not the case. I knew it better than anyone since I watched the whole thing happen. Curse Suido for having made us forget something that important. And look at me, putting the blame on someone else. I'm a disgrace. <laughs> Whatever the case, I shouldn't have forgotten. I was the one who decided to run and leave Yugo behind. To be fair to the memory thing, you didn't really have a choice in that. None of us had a choice in the memory thing. That was Suido was doing. Full on. Shut up! Don't worry about me! I don't need your sermons or your pity either. What else could I have done? Was there some other way? There's no way a kid like me could rival the genius of Suido. I wanted more power even after dogging him. What else could I have done to save Yugo? I'm so pathetic. How could I face you all? I can't go back. Are we gonna get kicked out of here? And I'm gonna have to fight him again? Funnily, I think that he became weaker when he went up. You don't give up easily. Don't worry about me! I'm gonna play! <laughs> I'm just gonna punch him! I'm just gonna punch him! I punched him back to life! You- Why did you bring me back? I should've stayed the way I was! No. You idiot! And now he punches me! And I punch him! And he punches me! And I punch him! <laughs> Give it a rest. Damn it! You had no right! What was that? I don't get you! Come on, say something! It'll be okay. What? Ah, crap. I'm losing myself again. Neon? You... that's... Eh, I'm gonna die soon, but I'm gonna save the world. But there's nothing wrong. My body is... Look out! Leopardmon wake up, didn't he? Were we too late? No. Hey, sorry I'm late! Of course, you get here after the horror show. It's a Kino, everyone's favorite... Wait. Oh yeah, it is. Everyone's favorite star. Could it, might, could it be I might be running a teeny bit late? I really messed up. <laughs> Hurry, Nokia! Roger that. Omnimon! Okay, folks, are you ready? Hot-blooded Tabor Boy. Yeah! All set! Ready when you are! <laughs> okay, let's go! I, I still say that Nokia is the true protagonist of this game. She had the Agumon Gabumon, she got Omnimon super fast. She's the one with a team of hackers that is literally going to save the world. I'm just the one- I'm- I'm just the heavy hitter of the team. The Zaxons, the demons, man that feels like forever ago. Drain away his power. Gah! <laughs> 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 
Yay, major success! Keep going! Suck out the energy until he's dry! You did it, Nokia! Yeah, I did it, Yuko! Can I have a present? I want a present! But you could have contacted us for orders. There wasn't any need to come here, was there? Huh? If you had contacted us when you were ready, we could have timed this better. Uh, but at the strategy meeting... Hey, Omniman! <laughs> uh, what gives the silent treatment? Hey, Neon, didn't you ask to come? Uh, didn't you ask us to come to the, at, at the strategy meeting? <laughs> yeah. Just another day on the Nokia Express. Oh my, I see. Is that how things went, or was it like this, or like these, like which? Nokia, let's apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry for having darted off like that. <laughs> and there's just a Rada. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're all idiots. Or jerks. You all talk like that at a time like this. It's no good. I can't. <laughs> he's losing himself. This is either a nice sign or he's lost his mind. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Ha, ha, ha. Why does he have such weird laughter? <laughs> My stomach hurts. Um, Arada? He's broken. Shut up! All of this is your fault! I think I blew a gasket. That's right, if I just trusted you jerks all along from the start. And there's Leopardmon still losing it. What is this? I'm losing my, my power! How did the likes of humans ruin Crusader Mons? No, my plan! How is this possible? Leopardmon, your scheme has been foiled. You, what are you? My name is Alphamon. Alphamon? What? The legendary 13th Royal Knight? You actually do exist! I have the upgraded version somehow. Why show yourself now, and as my enemy? I exist to control the Royal Knights. My purpose is to keep them from running amok. Amok, you say? It is the will of King Drasil to destroy the human world and protect the digital world! Indeed. But I was also sent here by King Drasil's will. Don't be absurd. There's no way the will of King Drasil will ever block my path! If you are his chosen, then make the right choice! To save our world, mankind must be destroyed! Humanity's immature and foolish misdeeds are what caused the Eater Menace to bring our world to the brink! Look at them. Their foolishness will lead to their own destruction as well. Technically, the human destruction would only happen because of you guys, which you would then argue, well, because of the human's actions that cause us to do this, and then it's a whole rigmarole. That is not for you to say. Foolishness. Foolishness. What? Foolishness is but one part of humanity. I have also seen their capacity for growth. Let us therefore trust them. Enough of this pointless banter. If both of us claim the will of King Drassel, then our conflict is also the will of King Drassil. He has a point. He kind of has a point there. Saying, well, you know, if your will, if the King Drassil says you right and King Drassil said that I was right, then obviously King Drassil wants us to fight, so let's fight. Yeah, he has a point there. From his own twisted point of view. In other words, the winner represents King Drassil's true will. You fool. You are the fool for making the wrong choice! How sad that I must meet my final comrade in arms, only to bid you a final farewell at the same time! You dare to steal some of my power? Mock me not! I am Leopardmon, the most powerful of the knights! But he growled. Are you ready, my dear Watson? Let's go. It's time to get to work. At least this means that chapter 20 will seemingly be a epilogue, or final thing, 
Are we gonna save Yugo somehow? I feel like we're gonna save Yugo somehow. Destabilizing stance. Well, I know what I'm gonna hit you with. First of all, ah, crap. My most powerful Digimon are gonna not be useful here. Well, let's see how much damage this does. Well, that's not good at all. Well, let's remove your... Well, hopefully, let's see if this works. Well, I was gonna hope it was gonna get rid of your, your shtick. But of course you'd be a data. Of course you'd be a data. Rosemon. And I guess Marine Angemon, why not? Let's bring them in. Black Aura Blast. I forgot, I shouldn't have done that. I am Le Fool. I could remove all abnormal statuses, so let's uh, remove all abnormal statuses! No speed down for us. Don't think that actually did anything, but hey. Demonic disaster! Well, apparently it didn't get rid of all the abnormal statuses. I have been lied to. I have no idea how to speak that French and how dare you dodge. What is your dodge power? Another Black Aura Blast. And you're not doing much damage. Honestly, you're not that scary. I would, like, actually try and do things. Hmm. Maybe I should change out Marine Angemon. Because uh, I guess that leaves us with Imperial Dramon, but he does so little damage. So we're actually going to move you and put back in Alphamon. Character Reversal? Huh, you missed. I don't even know want to know what that does. Legitimately, I do not want to know what that does. Character reversal sounds like a nasty thing. Well, let's see if this actually hits this time. Le Vuezze. Don't do character reversal. Nope, guard stance. You're gonna buff yourself to death. Fool. Demonic disaster and die. Your ally was harder. That can't be the final boss. Your your ally down in the ground was harder. The hell? You didn't even kill any of my Digimon. I would be kind of be happy if the chapter 20 was just an epilogue. That I might be defeated. That unrivaled justice could falter here. That's it. Destruction must be King Drasil's will. Now that my end is here, I finally see the light! May the will of King Drasil utterly destroy the human and digital world alike! There is no greater proof than my perishing here. <laughs> Worlds far and wide be destroyed! Vanish like me! Leaving no trace behind! <laughs> How did some of these guys become royal knights beyond devolutions? Alone. Well, the plan- Examon is still alive. Examon is still alive! I just remembered that. He didn't get eaten. He didn't die. He just got knocked out! There are no more royal knights to oppose you. Now we just need to find a way to handle the mass of eaters who've come from the digital world. Well, we could take them down one by one. But hey, there's this legendary royal knight here. He can use legendary power and do legendary stuff. No, that would take too much time. In that case, our only option is to ask you-know-who for help. Suido. That's right. I forget what voice I gave you. Suido. My, my. I see everyone's... Oh, yeah, I, I, I forgot about you. 
You've been pulling the strings this entire time, haven't you? That's the only explanation. That you would work alongside Kashibe while also knowing that she's Crusadermon, presumably. You're too smart for that. You know everything. And again, he looked at us through the digital camera. Well, I guess we're going to learn what his deal is. My, my. I see everyone's here. Arata, you've given up on evolution. I trust these people. I ain't buying your crap anymore. I see. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Since you're here, I'm assuming that means you have a way, right? Oh, no, that's him. Since you're here, I'm assuming that means you have a way, right? Excellent, Arata. A brilliant deduction. Let me get right down to the explanation. To end this disastrous situation, all we can do is send the eaters infesting Tokyo back to the digital world. What? If we release the digital wave that is pulled in the digital line, the dimensional door will open. That will attract the eaters, then in they go. Happily, the digital line is already primed, thanks to the energy you took from Leopard Mod. This plan can be executed at any time now. That's absurd. You would further doom my digital world. Yeah, we're not letting that happen. Of course, I won't let such a thing happen. It would just mean the end of our evolution. Did you know that the Eaters have what could be called a main unit? You go. The Eaters' main unit? Yes, yes, the Mother Eater herself. Eliminate that and all the other Eaters will be wiped out in turn. Where is this Mother Eater? Deep in the digital world, King Drasil's core. King Drasil, the host computer that could be called the creator of your world, has been worn away by the Mother Eater and has lost most of its functionality. This may be the reason why you royal knights have broken ranks with one another. Wait, if we know where the Mother Eater is, then we should go to King Drasil and remove it. Why do we need to send the Eaters back? Unfortunately, you'll never be able to get close to King Drasil by charging in blindly. The wide-scale loss of functionality includes King Drasil's security systems. It will be unable to discern whether anyone who approaches is friend or foe. I surmise that the instant we enter the digital world, we will be dealt with as bugs. However, seeing as the Eaters are all part of the Mother Eater, they're a different story. If we can send Eaters that have incorporated a program of my devising back to the Mother Eater in mass, we could attach them to King Drasil and temporarily take control of the security system. And then, we eliminate the Mother Eater. Oh no, that's Arata speaking. Blah! I, for whatever reason, when it comes to these characters, like, reaching the end of their animation and talking, like, normally, and then the other character doesn't have wild mannerisms, it's hard to tell who's talking sometimes. And then we eliminate the Mother Eater. Hmm. I think I follow you. There is no other way to remove the Eater threat from both worlds. Oh boy, I'm totally clueless here. So, like, this is our only chance, right? It would appear so. Now, to put this plan into action, there's one request I need to make of the Royal Knights. Opening the dimensional door is a simple matter. However, I am dubious as to whether enough digital wave energy has accumulated in the digital line to actually keep the door open. That is why, after the Eaters are in the digital world, and until Mother Eater is eliminated, I need you to hold the door open from the inside. Leave that part to us! Is it? Oh, is it the other hacker people? From... Oh, no, it's the other Royal Knights! I forgot that they existed. Magnamon! You guys! <laughs> now is this heartening? Let us open the door to a new age! A new world! Speaking of which, let's make some quiet little adjustments to the digital line. Master Rata, Miss Yuko, would you help me? Oh, and let's not forget Miss Akito either. What? Me too? But wh wait, what do you mean, don't forget me? Dear me, you simply showed you a rather unique knack for hacking the digital line, is all. All right then, everyone. I'm counting on you. This guy is so weird. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. I think he's just a, a force of nature. 
Okay. Right now. Yeah, this guy is less uh, bad guy, good guy. This guy is just a force of nature of his own will. He helped Kashime. He helps us. Oh, where are you going to end? Where is Examon? Okay, let's dive in. Got it. We push it wide open from the inside. It seems crazy, but we've got no other choice. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, another cutscene. <laughs> and all the eaters get sucked away. Whoa, amazing! Good work. The eaters are being sent back. And now we get teleported in ourselves through the Matrix. There, the door has opened. The this magic circle connects to the digital world. Whenever you're ready. Let me ask you one thing. Yes, yes, what is it? You said we must eliminate the Mother Eater, but you have an assured means of doing so. Heavens, didn't I explain? Of course there's a way to do it. We extract the foreign object trapped within the Mother Eater. The mental data of Yugo Kamashiro. I believe eaters were never meant to prey on data from life forms, such as humans, in the first place. But once Yugo was devoured, their dietary habits changed. Incorporating human mental data was what first gave eaters their present form. They evolved. But that, that doesn't really make sense, because the eater already looked like it did and attacked Yugo. But it could have been that because we, because they, I, 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 again, I don't trust this guy. There was some way into the digital world. I have a feeling that this guy made that crack. Because again, the world, like in the Eden beta, only five kids were brought in. Two of them were children of the head guy, Kamashiro. And this guy worked at the company before, like, like a different company. And then came over to Kamashiro, all sneakily like. And then... The Eater came through to the digital world from the human side, but it looked like it still did, and this guy is saying that their present form, so maybe that's metaphorical speaking, but it, it looked the same, and it went after Yugo. It crushed him. It ate him. Then again, his body, oh god, the mother unit is going to actually have Yugo's body, and Yugo's body is going to talk to us, isn't it? Mm. That's going to be horrible. Well, Yugo's digital body, I guess. Again, I'm just remembering the crunch squish sound from when it crushed Yugo. But, yeah. It's not like it acts, well, again, uh, my thought process got interrupted there, but maybe when we went to the digital world, the way the digital world's data appeared to the Eater was different, and then it went after Yugo, but then that would still mean that the Eaters would have been a threat to the digital world regardless. Ba ba ba. So again, that leaves this guy not to be fully trusted. Especially because he wiped all of our memories of the event. Again, why was the Eden Beta only five kids? Why was it both the kids of the owner? Why were all of their memories eradicated of the event by Suido? This guy, again, is like a, an, a, he's an anomaly. He's an enigma. The Eaters are now protecting his mental data, as it was the impetus for their very evolution. It held very carefully, deep within their core. You can't mean the same place my brother said the Eaters were keeping him trapped? Inside that Mother Eater thing? Ultimately, he serves as a type of core. If my theories are correct, when we remove him, a very interesting phenomena will recur. Reversible programs being overwritten, time being turned back on itself. What? The Eater's memory integration network is beyond our understanding, our imagination, and even our ability to comprehend! They are always sharing information and always making choices, but every instant is remembered. They have no concept of a capacity limit, nor any concept of time they simply remember. How, 
How can that be? You're thinking it's not possible, correct? <laughs> then what about the things you all re-experienced recently? About what happened to you eight years ago in Eden and the digital world? What you saw is what Crusader Mon downloaded from the Eden memories and recreated in virtual reality. She probably made some adjustments as part of a nasty little trap, but still... Why? Why do you know all this? To be truthful, I am a part of the Eaters now. Or more accurately, I merely have special access to their network. So that was how you pulled off your tricks. How he was able to see us through the digital network when we were in the digital place. And how he's been able to come and go so easily within digital rifts. Crack-gated tricks are, uh, are the same thing. You could do it if you wanted to, Arata. Are you for real? If Arata can do it, then so can I. What? Yes, of course! Anyone can do it! But human beings reject these possibilities on an instinctual level, and you are no exception. This is because of you having been unable to realize true unlimited potential or having been overtaken by eaters once previously. But let's save that discussion for another time. It's a rather long story. Anyway, if the key data that triggered the eaters evolution into their current form were to disappear, my calculations indicate that time will rewind itself to a point before Yugo's mental data was devoured by the eaters eight years ago. And he's not talking about, like, the actual world, even though I guess you could theoretically say that the digital world and the human world have begun to uh, collide like they have. But it's mostly about how the Eaters have uh, taken things, how they've devoured things. If the Eaters rewind to a previous state because of how vast the Eaters are, they should put back together all of the places that have been affected by them. The digital world should come back... Yugo himself should be, uh, like, potentially reinstated, but at the same time, I think this guy wants to free Yugo and Yugo to then become the next stage of evolution of digital human hybridism. But that also means that any human that has been attacked and devoured by eaters should return and Eden Syndrome should be cured, is what I think he's getting at. The present will become a future that never happened, and this proper past will be our new present. Then again, maybe he's being literal, and literally, everything will be undone. Back to eight years ago. Which would be insane. Uh, excuse me, take it, Miss Kyoko, in our studio audience. This phenomenon is visible in the digital world. And with the material and digital realms having assimilated one another, nothing is beyond the impossible at this point. So they might literally be talking about a rewind to literally the beginning of Eden. Which means that Yuko's father might be coming back to life. And, you know, I might not hate that. If we literally reset time. But what would that mean for the alternate universe girl? What would that mean for her? Because her world isn't infected by the digital world. Maybe the world will accommodate her and she'll become the sixth ranger to us digi-destined and become our friend. I'll go with that. Without a doubt. When the Eater has caused time to reverse, I wonder what effect it will be seen in the real world through the connection with the digital world. It's possible that Eden Syndrome will disappear. After all, it will be as if the cause of it never existed. You're talking about the law of causality, right? I was beginning to think along those lines, too. But how do we get you go out? That shouldn't be any problem, I would think. You've already experienced it, Arata. Me! Wait, hang on. If Eden Syndrome disappears, that means Neon and Yuko can return to their original bodies, right? Happy music! I completely forgot about that. I do keep forgetting that my body isn't my body. That's kind of out of left field. It's a solution I totally hadn't even imagined. But right now, anything's possible. Rescue Yugo and bring him in Neon home. The grand finale will be a happy ending. This might be out of left field too, or maybe it's wishful thinking. I can't stand waiting here doing nothing. I want to go see my brother. Yeah, definitely! 
<laughs> See you later. That's not how he said it. It was more like, <laughs> See you later. Again, I don't know if I can trust that guy. I'd like to say that we should carry on as well, but... What's the matter? At present, the digital world is a very dangerous place. We don't have a lot of time, but it makes no sense to just rush in and make mistakes. Do you have anything left to do? If so, take care of it before we proceed. When you're ready, we'll head for the digital world. This seems epic. This seems amazing. Well, first we're gonna check out the Digiline. Bunch of pop quiz and shit. Pop quiz, Terrier Mom's Magic Creature, Small Teeter Reviews, Terrier Tornado. I heard this human food shaped like a cloud, and what is good, blah, 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 blah. Friends. I'll be back around my birthday. Let's go and celebrate. It's been years since we celebrated my birthday together. Can't wait. Uh, I haven't got a present for you. Here's to the day we meet. Again, the translation in this area is very wonky. And, uh... Let me see. Uh, well, let me save first. Let me save first. Yeah, that's not the activation. Let's talk to everyone except Arata, because he's the one that's like, well, maybe. I've been hesitant to approach... Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, it's like, wait a minute, Gallantmon, Gallant, my brain short-circuited there. I've been hesitant to approach you, but as you can see, I was separated from the boy and returned to my own body. I suppose that was ancillary to your plan to save the boy. I owe you my thanks, nonetheless. But I stand behind my actions, as does he. I'm afraid we have no intention of reconciling. That said, I hope to see the conclusion you've chosen through to the end. Sadly, with the damage I've taken, I can offer no further help, please. The futures of both the digital and the human worlds are depending on you. I mean, fair enough. Y Arada did frickin' kill him. So, I can understand you not wanting to reconcile. Anytime you want to head out, me and Omnimon are ready. This is important. Have you got your tissues, teeth brushed, gone to the bathroom? You don't want to have to uh, go at the heat of the moment. I am a digital body. I don't know how I eat, but I don't think I have to go. Alpha Mon is right. I've grown very fond of your world. I don't want to leave with any regrets. Once you are ready, just let me know. I'll be waiting here. No, I am not ready to enter the digital world. We don't have much time, but preparations are important. All this time, I've been trying to do something about Eden on my own. But each time I tried, my methods were off. But this time, everything's just right. I said, I'll take you back to the office if you're ready. Shall we return to make preparations? Not yet. I assume that that would be like, hey, instantly go back to the office. <sighs> that punch stung, I'll give you that. That was a really childish thing of you to do back there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Hey, Neon. Uh, the... Thanks. No problem. Cloud staring at me all quiet like that all day or some cut it out, Neon. It's pretty really embarrassing seeing that. I mean, I guess that's kind of your thing, but still. Smile. Actually, to be honest, I have something I need to ask you. Because of all the trouble I ran into, I'm starting to feel like I'm falling behind the rest of you in terms of sheer strength and whatnot. I hate just leaving all the cool stuff to you and Nokia, so I want you to come with me for a little while. I'll follow this as a proper case, so now you have to do it as part of your job, right? And then we can go back and do the thing. I think that uh, I will save again. And we will see what happens when we head back to the office through Alphamon. To make preparations. And we're just back there. And I can probably just talk to her to... And five more cases have been added. Broken sleep, two faces, Dr. Datamon, medicine complete. Boy A, dream of the sky. Lots to do. But, yeah. We have a little bit more to go. This was a longer stream. Hilariously, I thought the tower was going to be uh, more of a thing. But it wasn't really. But, yeah. That will be it for now, and we are going to go 
and complete the game next time, probably. Depending on how long the last chapter is, more than likely it'll be a, hey, I'll just go all the way through and it'll be like a five-hour stream if it has to be. We'll complete all the quests here because there are quests here. There are quests here to do. And then we will uh, go in diddly deep. I might perhaps do just a little bit of grinding, just a little bit. Then again, I do have experienced diddly dees, but... Oh yeah, and I'm two memory blah, blah, blah. So if I wanted, I could probably try and bring more Digimon in. Maybe more data. But I do have frickin' 40,000 experience up. So yeah, what I might do is... Uh, actually, let's go to the... Neon, where are you and what are you doing up to now? Up right to, what are you up to right now? Neon, I'm ready for a fight, sitting fierce over here. I feel like I've got to have one or else I'll go out of my mind. Seriously, I want to have a scrim. No, that's not it. More like a run. Ah, my brain's running away too fast for my mouth to keep up. I want your Digimon to spar with my VB. Oh, hey, that's it. Yeah, that's what I want. A match between you and me. But we can't have it just any old place. It's got to be somewhere special. You know, to set the mood right for the occasion. I got it. Let's do it. The one memorable spot of ours. You know the one. Yeah, it'll be perfect. I'll go up uh, going ahead there. You better not make me wait long, because this is super important, you know? I already filed it as a case of your agency, so you can't say no. See you soon, all right? All right? Yeah? <laughs> what is she freaking dying from being our universe for too long? I don't know. Uh... And tell them on. But. Alright, we're just gonna go in here and quickly glance at the Digimon. And then we'll just come back and do the five. Even you have a thing for me. You've come. I've been waiting for you. I actually have a request. Although I admit it's not quite as simple as that. It's a matter of fate. I have left a case of your office. Please do take a look. Thank you in advance. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wander around all over the place looking for cases to just be added, won't I? Well, let's see. I do have... I might look at some of these Digimon. And see if I want to add any of them to the team. Especially because I don't know how many of them, like, actually stay data. And then again, that also require a bunch of grinding. <gasps> so I don't know. Do not know. But yeah, since we're here and there's a bunch of things to do, I might see if there are any Digimon here I want to take with us for the final, final, final battles. I might do some grinding just to level up my Digimon and any other Digimon that I might want to take with us. And then we'll do just a 5 billion diddly D quests. But I guess just to make sure... Well, actually, I shouldn't have left there. My brain is also running away from my brain. Let's see. Any new dungeons added? It's hard to tell. Nope, doesn't seem to be. Then we'll probably just go to the, like, tower, maybe. In fact, since she has a thing over her head, let's ask her. She probably has a quest, too. Uh, yes, a new case has just been submitted to the office from a Digimon. I'd like you to take it. This case is a little tricky. It needs to be taken care of by a human. I'm too much of a Digimon at heart, and so I have decided you should take care of it. You may choose to begin whenever you like. As always, check the whiteboard, and then I'll... I'll have the client come over for a meeting. Jesus fucking Christ. Parallel world, girl and destiny, gluttony. Parallel world, girl and destiny, wrath. Parallel world, girl and destiny, sloth. Greed, pride, lust. Lust. A girl from a parallel world and seven evils rampant in our world. I give you the wheel of fate that binds us all. What? Terriermon's exclusive scoop. So Terriermon, Master Disc. Rina Shimonia's challenge. Another memory up. A match with me. So yeah, we're gonna have a shit ton to do. 
some of this, like, ob like maybe the parallel world stuff is meant to be post-game. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so yeah. I don't think there are any more quests that will be added to the board, but I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to quickly check at least the path to the, the tower. Hopefully, like, did you get anything new? Can't get a, a, a HP spray A's. Sadness. I only had to use, like, one. Making sure there's no random quests. I'll go to the tower just again, make sure there's no random quests. The elevators are, like, no longer... They are working now, my dude. But yeah, uh, we've done a lot. Mainly all we've done is the main story, but that has been a lot right now. And uh, we've obliterated the last of the hostile knights. We digivolved our Digimon into their final forms. I think. I assume. Doesn't hurt to look, I guess. Like, I doubt that we have any more Digimon that can Digivolve. Obviously not you. Obviously not you. Not you. I'd be- it would be hilarious if you were. Omnimon Zwart. Imperial Dramon. Mode change? And an evolution? And see, this is why I hate the ABI thing, because it's like, lo well, at the same time, Imperial Dramon won't, like, D like, DNA, so that wouldn't be terrible, but mode change? Stats won't change during a mode change. That, I guess that won't change. I guess let's... Mode change. I want to see the mode change. Because why not? Let's end off on something interesting. I like the look of you. Interesting. And you st stay the same. Cool. But only that version is what can uh, digivolve. Interesting. You can't de-digivolve, but we can easily just mode change freely. And this guy can digivolve into another form. But it requires ABI. Maybe not all that much ABI, so... Yeah, I'll do some grinding off-stream. Mainly just for raising everybody's levels and seeing, like, what's beyond Mega, I guess. For Imperial Dramon DM. As well as seeing, like, any kind of Digimon that I might want to add to my team. Just because... Just to see what kind of Digimon I want to add. Any which way. But, yeah. That will be it for now. We've done a lot. We saved the world at least a little bit, and now we need to save the world uh, the final bit. I still have no idea what Suido's deal is. Every other second, it's just like, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? That's why I just call him a force of nature. Because... Uh, why does it feel like Suido has been planning this from the beginning? And also the fact that he's just like, oh hey, I have access, a backdoor access into the Eaters. I wouldn't be surprised at this point if Suido himself is like the human aspect of the Eaters itself. That Suido also got eaten by the Eaters, except the Suido aspect for whatever reason, unlike Yugo, which got trapped by the main Mother Eater, Suido himself, like, got a weird taste of it, and is a, like, subconscious part of the Eaters that want to return to the way they were, or something. But then that still goes, I guess runs contradictory to his, I want to raise humanity's evolution, digital and human, together, forever, further. 
And so, like, I don't understand this guy. I don't know what he wants. I don't know if he's a good guy. All I know is it, this guy is... This guy is a... Yeah, did it. He is out to do something. And so far, it seems to align good, but he worked with Kashibe, who in Kashibe was Crusadermon. He seemed to know that, and he didn't seem to care. Higgledy Piggledy! The world has gone mad! Yeah, Suido is weird. I have no idea what he wants, but yeah, I will. Do some Digivolving, find some extra party members to add to the party if I'm perhaps grind to try and get uh, Imperial Dramon up to snuff so that he can digivolve into hope the, the I guess the furthest character we have even though he's like the shittiest digimon I have on the team because he's uh, he has no specials against anything so who knows blah, 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 blah. but yeah a lot has happened we saved Arada I thought he was going to be the final boss but no he was just there staring down leopard mom going crazy we saved him it was easier than I thought it was going to be and now we're going to have to go and save the digital world and pr possibly turn back time <coughs> in both the digital world and the real world, which means that, like, presumably all the Digimon that we fought and killed up to this point are going to be reconstituted. Because they've all died within digital fields, because, again, they can only really activate in digital fields. So, hmm. As well as doing some of the side quests... Maybe not the parallel world thing, because that one might be difficult, considering the amount of stars that it has. But we'll see when next time happens. Yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have a main YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I'm trying to make edited content for. If you want to watch me play these games live, they are both streamed at the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games and the Twitch channel Neon Icy Wings. If you want to watch past streams like Kirby and the Forgotten World, Forgotten Land, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the Mass Effect trilogy, uh, Digimon Survive, just a ton of games over there, they are on the Neon Icy Games channel as videos just uploaded there for posterity and diddly day. And if you want other things like my little uh, character, more art from me. I have various art websites that I upload to that you can find in my link tree, which should be like linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Places like Twitter and Newgrounds and Tumblr and other sites that I need to look into more and upload more to. As well as just draw more. I need to draw more Digimon. But yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye! Bye!